What's good? What's good? What's good? I got you, G. We are back on another great episode of Compus Compas Podcast. Yo soy su compa El Bardo. Su compa Carlos. Su compa Juan Medina. Ahí está. Back again. Aquí Ahora andamos. sí, con las pinches cámaras para sí, que lo te, vean, sí, compa. Sí, sí, para que vean estos cachetotes. Pero estos de acá. <risa> sí, sí, porque los de atrás. No, ahorita tan... hablamos de los de atrás. Lo, uh, <risa> los de atrás ya están muy caídos. Ya están, ya están muy caídos. ¿Qué pasó? I just seen this. Uh, I just seen this picture of uh, Andy Ruiz acá de pelear, ¿verdad? Oh, I seen that. I and then I thought of you and me right away because I'm like. Diabetic body right there, G. Hey, bro, don't be thinking about me. <laughs> <laughs> right away, I'm like, that guy's got our body, bro. Yeah. Andy Ruiz got to be a low-key diabetic way. He's got to be top heavy. Yeah, right? he has the fucking no legs. Hey, like. but that, 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 that picture's I Photoshop, just, no? Is it Photoshop? I think so, bro. That's no, impossible. Oh, yeah, he be skipping leg day, right? It's just the angle. He skipped leg day Is that the All angle? The yeah. You might be right, because I also see one with him in a six-pack. And then uh, they the fight. I'm like, where the fuck's the six pack? <laughs> like, the fucking picture was like from Friday. Hey, the he won, right? Set. He did win. Yeah. He knocked that guy out. What Luis Soto? And he's a big ass dude. Are you a boxing guy or no? Yeah. Now still? I don't box, but I I I. I but I'm are you still boxing. keep up with it? Yes. You're gonna order yeah. Anderson Silva and Jake Paul? I don't watch that shit. <laughs> real oh. boxing. Now nah, I'll watch it, but I I prefer watch real boxing. Hell yeah. Thing. Even though Anderson Silva's a real fighter, though. Well, yeah, I heard he's a good boxer. Did he fight once already? Yeah, he's a F- M- MMA fighter. Pero did he box somebody already? I thought he did. Didn't I he he lose? Did a, I thought he did a like in a possibly fucking right. Fact check us, guys. Yeah, a lot of Who celebrities be boxing now. Jake Paul. Didn't he fight him already? No, he's gonna. He's going to fight him. This is not like part two or anything like that. I don't think so. I thought he fought him and he fucking lost. Oh, what's that smell? That smells good. Quién sabe, no me acuerdo. But eh, boxing is not. The I mean, I don't know if it's not the same because I don't watch it as much anymore. It's not the same. Um, I think there's a lot of politics involved and um, a lot of protection on the boxers. Like the the great don't fight the great no more. Mm. They fight yeah. great names. Yeah, fuck that's yeah. the that's where people get confused. They bo- bo- uh, fight uh, great names mm. like Mayweather. He boxed great fucking names. De La Hoya, Mosley, <laughs> Cotto, este, Juan Manuel Marquez, Pacquiao. But when did he box them? When they all had already lost. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, right. don't give, well, I don't give credit to Canelo for beating Cotto. He, bought, he fought Cotto when Cotto had already yeah. like three or four losses. And well, back in the day, it was he's much the older. best. He was he's the much best. older. I mean, Canelo's. Cotto, you mean? Yeah, then Canelo, you know. Yeah, he was. Um, well, I think that technically Canelo is right now the the last great boxer. Ahorita vienen muchos chingones, a bunch of youngins, but like you said, they're not fighting none of them together, you know? They if, should be if you guys are letting into boxing, all these fucking dudes I fight. I recommend you guys look up Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz. He's, I think he's familiar. 17 and 17. 17 oh. wins with 17 knockouts. Oh, okay. Or oh, 18 yeah. and 18, I think. Bad, he's bad he's coming up. Bad Where's he from? Here or from it's the the motherland? Texas, I think. It's, Texas. You know, yeah, Chicano. <coughs> How about this Benavides guy? Benavides. I, I don't know about Benavides. Um, it's because boxing hype up box, uh, boxers. Mm, yeah. They always have to f- hype up uh, a Mexican boxer yeah. because they want well, that, ri- they want right that racial rivalry. Yeah, yeah there there's, a there's a few right now, though, La Neta. Yes. There is... Uh, a lot of good young Mexican boxers, so there is good ones. So but they just need to start up. fighting them. Yeah, they just need to start fighting them. Say, yeah, they all just fucking talk shit about each other the whole time. Pero L- like Errol Spence, why, why, is, why hasn't Errol Spence boxed Crawford yet? They're protecting each other. Yeah, they don't want the L. And well, fucking Garcia too. <coughs> he's supposed to be this big fucking. Who Ryan? Yeah. Oh he, yeah. He, he, he hasn't fought this fucking guy yet. He hasn't right? fought nobody. Tank or what the fuck? He wants Cervante. Yeah. Well, they they've been talking about it for fucking two years, but who would win that one, Gervonta? Everybody's gonna say Gervonta. Pero pues, the thing is that this dude, he's he's haven't been hit. Well, the one time, couple who? times they hit him, Gar- Garcia. Oh, Garcia. Pero lo tumbaron al way, you Campbell, know, Luke because him out. because 
But he came back up and whooped his ass. But he came back and he whooped his ass. O sea, lo que tiene el pinche morro is that he's good. He got a strong ass fucking punch. Pero he's a little weak still. You can tell that he's skinny. He's more, you know. Lo tumban al güey si le pegan. But he's so fast that that he could technically, he, he could dodge a lot of that shit. How about this Pero guy? That's a good fight right there. That J- should be Jimmy's the fight. always with uh, Pitbull. Pitbull well, that's, Cruz? That, that's yeah. the guy. Didn't he fight Did he just he, he just won last week. The champion? He champion knocked champion? out the guy in the second round. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sur Ramirez, 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 I think yeah. it was. Oh, really? Oh, Wasn't I, he, like, really good? Yeah. Verga. Yeah, but then again, he beat a name that a, a guy already lost. You know what I'm saying? But he did fight Gervonta and give him... A really good, good fight. fight, right? Yeah. I think if... Is that the one where Gervonta actually fractured his fucking left? Segun. Yeah. Segun. It did look like it, it though. Well, he yeah. never used it. At yeah. They need to fight again. They, they should fight again. That's tough. That's, in a way, you see that if it is true, that guy just beat him with one hand, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, the fight was pretty tight, bro. That was really For a tight. one-handed guy, yeah. but though, you know what I'm saying? That's oh, what I'm saying. Then, then you make it sound and like And it fun. was his left. It was his big, his big fucking yes. arm. That guy's good way. That fucking... Is it, Gervonta that? Davis? Yeah, he is yeah, good. He is good. He's smart. He's not like... He's um, good, but they're going to protect him. They're not going to let him risk his career. He's not flamboyant like Broner. And like, like Mayweather? Like Mayweather. No, he's not. Yeah, that guy's fucking serious. Yeah. He's going Sí, me meto uno de los buenos dos, tres putazos con ese güey, man, the guy. Que él se los mete a usted, compa. Nos metemos, güey. <laughs> pues cuando se vaya... Ah, yo tengo una ah, pinche zurda aquí con la chica. Madre. Cuando se lo vaya a dar, me invita a pagar unas pinches patadas, compa. yo también. El pinche putazo cuando pegue al piso <laughs> a la <laughs> verga. Ah, man. Yeah. Every time I see these things, I think in my mind, like, I can still do it. <laughs> like, I still think I can steal second base in a major league game. <laughs> I think I can average three points, two rebounds in the NBA. <laughs> nah, cut it out. Nah. Three points to rebound? Uh, no, you're just short. Come on. <laughs> 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 we were nah, tripping yeah. balls. We seen a, this kid that was like 6'8 on Sunday at, at the Czar nah. Private. And I'm like, dang, he was like 6'6 six, six for sure. And I had I had been a while since I seen a tall guy. I'm like, no, my man, that's Jordan's fucking height, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the dude was tall, right, Zah, man? Hey, shout out to our boy on the audio, like always, the Mexican Jay-Z. <laughs> and on the camera, motherfucking... <laughs> I like that. Motherfucking Zaman. When the, yeah, fuck, that was when the fuck did we switch up Jose's name? Guac the Mexican season. J. Guac Damn, Pot, yeah. I like it, bro. That's why you got offended right now when I called it my podcast and shit. Oh, no, no, no. It? It's the Mexican Jay-Z. I'm the Sorry, producer. Sorry, Jay. Fuck we got name, Zaman on the camera. His name should be changed to the guy that's always here late. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Bart. Yeah. Bart or, or, or Jose? Who? Jose. Jose. I don't know, but Bart got here later, right? Yeah, like five mm. minutes. But you know what? Back to what you were saying. Yo, ya ahorita pa pelear, yo le pienso como va a ser chapuza. Because I know I'm going to lose. I'm not as strong as I used to be. That's true, man. I'm not going to fuck this guy Feels up. strong like bull. I'll start looking for a stick or something. Yeah, you got to look around. Yeah. Back in the hood, you would fucking, uh, back in the day in the hood, you would, uh, when you were a little kid, you would grab like a big ass brick or half a brick or a bottle and put it behind a certain car or just a certain case, tree. Right? Just like after school, way you already knew. Like, all right, I got a fucking Budweiser bottle away from that <laughs> fucking tree right there. Big all ass Budweiser do, 40? All I got to do is run and make it to that tree before they beat my ass. The Mickey's 40 ounce would be right there waiting. So, so in case anybody wants to fight with me, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> you're gonna bite the motherfuckers I, ear. I, I'm gonna bite, hit you in the balls, do something. Hell, hit hell. you when you're not looking. I, I I ain't fighting straight up, bro. Like you seen that video where they're like fighting like at a baseball game or something. This fucking old man just comes. They couldn't. No pueden desapartar los dudes. Some fucking old man just comes and bah, sticks his finger in dude's ass. And oh, dude, right it was away, in like, the street, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y luego, luego se calma. If that's what you gotta do to fuck somebody up, what if the fuck it? What if he likes it though? Oh, yes. oh yeah. Yeah, didn't think about that one. <laughs> didn't think of a gateway drug <laughs> to anus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, we were having this crazy conversation. I know you haven't heard it. I suggest you do. With the Jesse and the Grandote. Shout out. And, uh, and now it's going to become like a recurring thing because we're interested in our guest. So we're going to ask you two questions. The first one is, uh, in the future, 
Do you do that? What is it called? Is it called Oculus? The, the VR goggles? Have you seen that? I, I've heard of that. I've never tried it. Okay. So in the future... Try, um, that, try, that, try that out. Pues ya existe, obviamente, ¿no? Yeah. Este... The porn will be at a different level in that in that time. It's going to be a So So this is like a legit yeah. something that's being said? It's happening it's right happening. now. Okay. <laughs> I know the Oculus exists. <coughs> so from what we know, decent. You decent can buy this little I. box now. Box. Like a, I don't know if it's a box, but it's... <laughs> It's you like call, a pussy, you can call right? it a box. It sounds like, like you have it, bro. Some people, <laughs> some people call it the box. We'll call it the DV, <laughs> the digital vagina, <laughs> right? Like that. And then um, you put on this, DV. you put on this VR goggles, and you're gonna be able to type in like who you want to bang. Not like you know now you go like a, uh, uh, you know a fucking mail or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the future, you'll be able to be like, um, I want to bang J Lo, and I want it to be in the beach. Blah, blah, and enter. Poof, you're gonna be at fucking Mazatlan. J Lo's coming down. You're in the VR. And then you got the fucking DV right there. Hey, Sorry, A Rod. Yamonos, <laughs> way. So the question to our guests are when you're able to pick who you can bang, who would you pick? Who's your first God, pick? Who would be your first digital hey, VR hey, pick? Esta, it's ya anybody. Le, ya le traigo ganas desde el <laughs> se va a enojar mi vieja, pero nah, ni pero no hay pedo. Es, sí, es, pues es, es algo que no va a pasar. Va a pasar en VR nada más. Should probably get a little better with a DV, but Scarlett Johansson. Damn, That's I like one. that. It is wow. fino, man. Wow, we were all saying some bullshit. We I were like all saying our paisa ass yeah. fucking shit. <laughs> Talia, <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Carmen Salinas. <laughs> Motherfucking. <laughs> You no, my man. You're going to have to get an like, old who? box. <laughs> like, who? Yeah, you're going to have to get a bigger box for that shit. <laughs> uh, Jesse said Lizzo. 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 Jesse said Lizzo. Do you know who Lizzo is? I'm, I'm, no. Uh, it's this big black girl. She's a, she's a rapper. African American. Big as in famous or big as in size? <laughs> big as in size. <laughs> and okay. famous. Okay. Both. 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 Yeah. Shout out. So, so I said that. Lizzo. I, I said that. Yeah, you Jesse. Oh, who, who did Bart pick? <laughs> I, some Instagram chick, Summer Ray. I mean, I got a lot of, See, I got a I, lot of first picks. See, I know. <laughs> if I start telling you guys my list, I would never finish. I, I noticed that a lot of my friends, they follow chicks on Instagram, <laughs> Snapchat. I don't do that shit. I've never been a like big the, porn guy. Like social media chicks? Yeah. Okay, they show me, oh, mira esta, like, who the fuck is that? Oh, she's famous. Like, oh, shit, she's famous. I don't know. Well, when Robert came, like, what she fucking do? We did, uh, I don't know if you do. I don't want to, you know, no vamos a quemar ranchos or anything. But with Robert, when no, none of us had ever, uh, shout out to Robbie, none of us had subscribed to an Olin fan. I don't think we said it, did we? Who, what? We didn't say the fact. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Did we? Yeah. Yeah, because he kept saying, you know, head on and all that shit. And we have already mentioned it in the other pods, we? Um, did we? And we decided to. Yeah. Download Jaylene Ojeda. Do you know who she is? I know who she is. Yeah. Okay. She had just got in her OnlyFans like that day before or something. Yeah. She opened her OnlyFans. And we're like, ah, fuck it, let's check it out. Okay, pal. Ay, tal. <laughs> Para tener algo de que hablar. We did it like the same day of the pod. <laughs> and and there was nothing. Like, es there was no videos that were not on Instagram. Puro negocio, güey. O sea, luego he got an so inbox. So she naked or no? No, not not, not in naked. You have to pay. You gotta pay extra. extra so you get. pay one fee and then for more you gotta pay more. Pay Correct. More. Yeah. Uh, like you get an inbox and it'll be like, hey, for the pictures that you really want, send me blah 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 and shit. Uh, so that's what we did with Rob. But there's people that are gonna pay for that shit. For sure. Hell yeah, right? Yes, I mean, we are. I don't know if you guys are already, but see, I, I wouldn't pay. <laughs> Jerobby's getting more and more. I, w- I wouldn't pay for, for none of that. <laughs> you would not pay for that? No, I'm being serious. No. Not even for Carmen Salinas? Can I see now? That's more intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, but I do like Scarlett Johansson pick. That's a great pick. Who'd you pick, Carlos? <laughs> Rihanna. Hmm? Nah, I'll stick with Scarlett. Scarlett's a good pick. Man. She's fucking hot, bro, for sure. <coughs> That's a fancy ass pick, bro. I didn't know you were into blondes like that. Uh, not at the blondes. I, I don't know what it is. 
She's very pretty. Very. I think she's like beautiful. a natural pretty. Like I don't like I don't feel like she uses a lot of makeup yeah. or none of that shit. There's another little blonde actress that's really really fucking hot too. Uh, shout out to Sydney Sweet. I think I think that's her name. Sydney some shit. She's from Euphoria. She's <laughs> La Morenita. No, La Guerita. Um, La Guerita. What's yeah. her name on the show? I don't remember what the fuck her name is on the show. Man, but she's fucking hot. <sighs> Was it Maddie that I saw every day? I Maddie. Think her, her last name is Perez. Too. No, not that one though. Yeah, I know. She's who, pretty. I, know. Maddie's yeah. hot. I was more of a Maddie fan. Yeah, you you you, you like Maddie. Yeah. You wanted yeah. the blonde. The blonde's very, very big tits. She got some big old fucking knock. And I'm not even a tit guy. Look at how, how Bart says it, like, very serious, like, very, very observant, calm. right? Huh? Oh, it's okay. Observant. Yeah, 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 we have hablado de este pedo. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, speaking of Bart, um, wait, what was this? We have two questions for him, right? Did we ask the second one already? The Jesse? What was it? How we having? The first one was the VR, who he would bang. Oculus, yeah. And the second one, you didn't ask. I have not asked. All right. Not I'm yet. a little high ready. Damn. So the second Jesse question. That was the hashish. Is, uh, what, which, what is it? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, wow. yeah, I think it's the anal question. Is it? Well, he's remember he said, you know, like, he was told the fucking kids, like, hey, if you guys are ever bored, you know, have your girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, 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 what episode was that? Just the recently. last one, the last one we did. Puros compas. Yeah. I thought he spoke second to last compas. The last one was a. Yeah, well, not sec. Yeah. No, 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 no. That the last episode we did with Jesse. Did it is come? What I said. It came out already. It barely came out in two I, weeks. I, I'm behind on Puros compas. I'm kind of with Wattpad, but I'm behind on Puros compas. Yeah. No, this is like two episodes ago. Apenas salió. Yeah. Uh, no, no, okay, mucho salió. And uh, we were talking about a uh, topic that day. A big topic was just how. <laughs> Right now, it's in the male community to get their ass eaten out. Uh, hell uh, you know, he, if you haven't yet, people who are watching, shout out to everybody who keeps subscribing, by the way. Yes. A little bit random, but ahorita que me acordé. Uh, and who, we get messages every week, thankfully, on the YouTube and keep smoking up with us and everything. Uh, but people that don't know, on the Jesse episode, I'm going to just give you, no quiero enfadarlos, va? But he told the Zar guys, Zar guys uh, it was like a Friday, and he was walking out of the office, and I'm going to skim through it, right? He's like, all right, guys, we'll have a good day. And then he just started, like, hey, if you guys get bored, you know, with your girl, uh, while she's doing her business, uh, ask her to eat your ass out or something like that. <laughs> Go watch the episode, because yeah. I'm fucking, I'm chopping <laughs> it up. But in <laughs> essence, it's getting your ass ate while you're uh, or, or, uh, having an orgasm. Oh, yeah. Have you right? ever ejaculated? Like that. Ejaculated yeah. while, while getting your yeah. So anal. He, he suggested, hey, tra diles que tres con lengua, you know. <laughs> and uh, it was shocking to to a lot of us. To and, me, uh, to me, it's shocking. Is it shocking? I'm not into that shit. Yeah. And my question is... And on TikTok, who, it's popular. Who though. said that shit's trending? It's on TikTok? Go, go like to TikTok. motherfuckers be recommending that? Like, girls be saying, Compas, I eat Compas fucking algorithms are <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Come on, G. I don't, I, I don't have a TikTok, bro. Yeah. I'm behind. But uh, now, now I'm scared because my daughters have TikTok. Are, are they looking at all this dumb I shit? I hope not. Uh, uh, I, there's a lot of dumb shit. There. And I, I don't know. I don't know. So it's it's popular. It's popular, bro. So what the what the guys do? I don't know. If they, Did they try it? Have you guys tried it yet, guys? <laughs> you guys got your salad tossed? Not yet. Hey, Not but, yet but, but Jose was kind of on the defensive mode. No, I think kind of defending the topic. He's. He's probably a little open-minded and saying, like, yeah, fuck it, you know? <laughs> yeah. You don't know? Call me old school, but I... I shout out the sound guy. <laughs> I have a fucking ambulance. Yeah. I have a friend that said, don't knock it till you try it. Yeah, and, we and have a friend. We have a friend. Well, yeah, but I think Bart said it like three times earlier. <laughs> 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 that shit's worrying, bro. They, they put it on recording yet. <laughs> he could be lying. <laughs> You know? <laughs> when you say don't knock it till you try it, it's kind of like 
saying I'm guilty, right? Just yeah. saying I'm going to try that shit. Yeah. So fuck that. I ain't saying that shit. I'm going to try it or I tried it. <laughs> well, no, this is all. Well, we, we, know, we know somebody that said that, so it's a little bit <laughs> preoccupying uh, in a way. We're not preoccupying, but it's interesting <coughs> at, at most. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't catch my attention. I, I don't, I wouldn't yeah. try it, honestly. Yeah. Not because well, I'm on cameras or I'm in the podcast. I, I, it's never crossed my mind. Like, yeah, aparte soy bien pedorro, so. I, yeah, I think it takes a certain <laughs> type of woman that's gonna fucking like. That's true, you know? bro. Most girls are probably like. So let me let no. me ask let me well, ask you guys. There's this. also a line. Let me ask you guys this though. What if you you're with your girl, and she wants to lick your ass? I was gonna say. What, what, what's your opinion about her though? That's my line, right? What's your what opinion you? about her though? Like, are you gonna be that the fuck you nasty ass? You know. What the fuck are you gonna that's, say? That's, oh, that's, of, a, that's that's good. I like I like the way you. Uh, Let me lick your ass. Nah, get the fuck out of here. What the fuck you mean? Why you so like all defensive? Yeah. Hey, you know what? That's interesting for you women that do watch us. Comment. Do you? Uh, there ain't nobody gonna comment. No girl's gonna be like, oh yeah, I eat ass, motherfucker. <laughs> well, on TikTok they say it right. Like he's got a good point. Like it takes a certain person. Woman, in this case, because I've heard of men eating ass, right? But yeah, yeah. does it take a certain man to eat ass then? <laughs> See, Women and, that, and that, men? That, that's kind of being. I, I think there's guys that are kind of grossed out by it. Uh, it. It might be sexist, you know, to say it's okay for a guy to eat ass, right? And it's but it's not okay for a girl to, for eat, the girl to eat, eat ass. But as a, it's as the same I'm shit. old school, same so shit. I view a woman like Literally. a woman. You know, you gotta protect her, take care of her. She's clean. She's you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But you bust out with a woman, I want to lick your ass, get the fuck out of here. You know? <laughs> huh? Jose wants to know if Jose wants you're, to know a you're machista. a machista. Soy machista. Pero hasta cierto punto. Siempre, te, tiene que respetar a tu mujer. Machista is a strong word, though. Yes. Maybe you're tra a I, traditionalist. I, 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 a traditional. I, I feel yeah. I'm more traditional. Because I like to cook, bro. Like, I'm, a machista ain't going to cook. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, but um, I, I just have a certain view of a woman, you know? Like, to me, it's a turn off when I see a, a woman smoking a cigarette. To me. Yeah. But I don't criticize, you know? I'm not going to look down at a woman because <laughs> she smokes. You know, that's her. If she wants to do that, go ahead, smoke. But, smoke. Um, I don't know. What I'm old school. A woman who smokes weed. Huh? What about a no, woman no, that smokes shit. weed? I, I don't judge nobody for whatever they do. Whatever Once it starts like affecting me, then we got issues. I, cool. I agree. Yeah, like anything, even being gay, whatever. It's, it's your ass. You want to get, <laughs> you want to get ass licked. That's on you. Yeah. You still my boy though. That's cool. Okay, so there, there you go. What you said there. So if a guy's getting his ass licked, you think he's gay? If a I girl's think doing it, I think it's kind of gay though. But technically, like I told you guys earlier, technically. <laughs> Technically, if you do anything sexual no, with a woman, like, I'm with them, it's heterosex, right? Heterosex. That's what, I'm saying. that's what I'm saying. If you do it with a guy, it's homosexual. But that's kind of homosexual, is no? It's kind of pushing the line. To get anything close to your asshole. Crossing the line. What, do you, what about when you take a shower? How deep you go to clean your ass? <laughs> Well, I, don't, I definitely don't use my finger. Right I there. mean, you're not fingering yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm not using my fucking finger. I think if you're using your finger to clean your ass, <laughs> you're doing it the wrong way. Stop hey, now. No. Hey, I'm gonna be straight up. That's the gayest. That's the gayest I ever get. Cause I wash that motherfucker good. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, he's like, man, why man. is why hey why is my finger still come out with shit? Every single time. I don't want to smell like caca, bro. I don't want to smell like caca. And then, y aparte gordito, pues tiene que estar bien lavadito todo el jale. A huevo, pues bien limpiecito, a lo mejor que se le antoje la vieja, ¿no? That's like the gayest. You know? ¿Qué? Bien limpiecito, a lo mejor que se le antoje la... You know? Y luego está todo prieto y feo. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, man. Imagínese un vato peludo. Ahí te voy. Le hace así a los pinches pelidos así, 
No, Me, I'm Harris Ford. Allí embarraba la verga. <laughs> White piece, G. Jeez. Always. Nah. I mean, I'm not going to start using my finger to clean it. Like but. you. <laughs> but, but I get in there. Yeah, that was know. a weird question, Juan. I don't think too many of the guys <laughs> finger their ass. <laughs> hey, I never said fingering. I, oh, I just get, you know, real know high. Or what's going a on. A deep but. cleansing. <laughs> a deep cleansing. Because. Before we were having, we we're kind of having this conversation already. And wow. Juanito said, well, once something gets close to your ass, that's kind of gay. Yeah. <laughs> and then, dude, then this dude tells me. Please. Hey. <laughs> man, but Don't I'm, tell me you fucking put your fucking soap bar in that bitch. I don't know what I'm doing. El shampoo, orale. Pinche dog. El pinche dog. No, no, bro. I, I don't finger myself, bro. I said that's the gayest I get. That's, just, that's, yeah. that's like you know, I'm not. I don't clean my finger. I don't stick my finger up like that to clean it, dude. <laughs> I put a condom on it, bro. So how do you wash? <laughs> how do you wash your ass, though? You just let the water hit it. No, I I use a what is it called the loofah. You know, I wash my ass with a loofah. Doesn't everybody do it that Which way? Which is a loofah? It's like a fucking... <laughs> a sponge? A sponge, He says, doesn't yeah. everybody do it that way? I mean... As long as it ain't a stick <laughs> fucking sponge, way. Porque va a estar igual, usted acá la verga. So you never <laughs> clean your ass real good? I don't... I mean, I don't finger my ass either, no. No, no, no. I'm not saying... I, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, I'm saying. You, I want to put it try, out there. You're going to tell people I finger myself. I don't finger myself. I just clean my asshole real good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, if I have shit. to show you, motherfuckers, I'll show you how I do it. Oh, <laughs> I'm good, G. I believe you. We take your word, bro. Ah, uh, fucking. Well, we're, we're gonna ask everybody the ask question. Whoever comes on, you already know, G. You already know those two questions. They have to be now part of the show. Can you add another question to it? How they wash their ass? Oh, I like that. There wow. you go. How do you wash your ass? That's question number that's three. So, so, Holy fuck. So how is that gay, though? Hey, I, I just said oh. that that's the closest thing to gay, though. No, no, I don't think that's gay. I mean, you're washing your ass. Hell yeah, shit. It's not like I'm enjoying it and shit. I'm just thinking I want to have a clean ass. Hey, just, just out of curiosity... What what fucking soap do you guys use right now? Hey, I'm, Are you guys I'm, doing like I'm, manscaping and all that shit or no? I used that before. I use Dove. I've always used I like Dove. Caress. That's what I that use. shit stays on long. Yeah. All my Scent fucking stays, life stays a long time. That's what I've used and that's what it is. And I do that's use, what my I use some Dove, Dove for men. No, I use, some I use bar soap, bro. Bar like soap. Yeah, my body bar soap. You know what? I heard that it's better. All that other shit. I heard like, it, it's, like, it's better than, than the, than the Don't people body say wash. that? Like, the shit that has, like, shampoo and conditioner and yeah. this, like, they're like, that's bullshit, you know? You, yeah. you Ass wash? <laughs> I use jabonzote. <laughs> jabonzote is the fucking shit, bro. Yeah. Not to wash yourself, but to wash, nah, like, clothes. Nah, and... <laughs> I've used it before. Yeah. I've used it before. It leaves <laughs> you know, real dry, though. Today. Like uh, la barba, la deja bien. It is dry. You know what? I, the like the Irish spring to me is a little dry. Um, yeah, super. Yeah, Man, dove, bro. I do the dove and I don't crush. Skin, yeah. no I'm just curious. Pues ponga esa crema. Thirty-two years of dove use, dog. Feel that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, de una vez que está Juanito, <coughs> quiero aprovechar para para empezar a preguntarle. A, Okay, me ayude a preguntarle un poquito, Bart. Because he just had his massive birthday party this weekend. It was I, heard, I seen. It, it was, was pretty massive. massive. It was massive. There was like 20 people there. Massive as, I guess, the massive party was. Massive party time, yeah. Like, you went hard. There was liquor involved. A little bit. There was some drugs involved. A little bit. And there was a whole bunch of fucking music involved. Unas cinco horitas nomás. Yeah. Saludos a los compas de la carga que se la rifaron machin so. Soy fan de ellos. They're fucking beast, way. You know what, bro? I was uh obviously it was last minute, bro. Literally like fucking Friday night. And they it was kind of like a night. No, no, no way. I got the group on Sunday <coughs> way at 4:30 p.m. That's wow. what time that's what time I talked that I started talking you to You got Manny. lucky they were available on this weekend. Um 
Where, where the fuck was I going with that? Just oh, party. Yeah, wait. Or just that that um. We Manny had told me like, hey, I'm on my way to a gig. When I get there, we're supposed to have a gig at 10 p.m., but maybe not. You know, she's like, so when we finish at eight, if that 10 p.m. gig's not happening, close the doors. We could do it. I'm like, Fierro, you call me and let me know. Y al rato, más al rato, he hit me up and he's like, hey, we could do it. Fierro, wey, jálense la verga, jálense la verga, wey, and uh, I wanted fucking, I wanted like a little norteñito, but <coughs> them niggas are badass, tololot, you know, tololoche. I'm a fan of fucking tololoche, tololoche is a good player, though. That was a beast, wey. Y mi compa en el acordeón se, se remanga. This is Eric on that. It was Eric. Acordeon. Oh, it was Eric. Eric. It was yeah. Eric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was Eric? Um, Eric uh, Casadores. Oh. Eric Ayala, yeah. shout out Eric. Yeah, Martin Corona on the, the Toroloche. Yep. Martin. Y mi compa el pinche black. El pinche black. Manny Ayala. Martin Corona. El escorpión. Llenito. Llenito. Oh, Michoacano? Michoacano. Yeah. yeah. He's a badass. Well, they're all cousins. So he's like a that. badass. Oh, like that, yeah. And he sings. Yeah. He sings. Um, sí, güey. Y, y se hizo, güey. So, um, pretty much, I'm like, two hours for sure. Most likely, you know, there's going to be more. Lo, los pinches compas, well, sí, güey. I mean, I told them, hey, I'm going to take care of the first two hours. Ya si ustedes quieren más. Entren a la verga, you know? You see, wait. Good compas right there. Huh? Good compas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out, compa, fucking Leiva, big boy. Oh, Leiva? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Pues, los, los compas de los, de mm. los, you know, de la pinche <laughs> circle right there, you know? And and uh, shout out, mi compa Chacal, who let me host kind of the party at his house. It's his birthday. Well, this coming week, and uh, this won't be coming out. Oh, well, shit, this will come out next week. Happy belated, compa. Chacal, you know, and uh, hell yeah, shit way. Just you know, hit up the the the, the close friends and family in Holland. Say, How old know, are you now, Kamba? Thirty two way. Do you remember when you were thirty two? Yeah. yeah, right now I told yeah. you. Oh, you asked him too? No, no, no I'm oh. saying that when I when you ask me right now, how old are you now? I'm yeah. fucking thirty two. You're like, yeah, you know. young. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I was thirty two. I felt like I was sixteen and shit. You know what? See, this, you hit you this hit a point in your life where boom, that's <laughs> el bajón. Different people hit it yeah. different different age. You know? Yeah. You know what? You can be forty five and I still feel what? good. I partied. <laughs> I partied like I was twenty one this weekend for sure. Eso sí. But me, now you feel like fifty five, right? Hey, hoy me siento para la verga como si traigo unos cincuenta mínimo. Um, you look like me today. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. But all in all, way, I say it was, it was, it was a just a good time, way, you know, just the close friends mm-hmm. and and some family and shit. He, um, well, see, way we we party. I'm, a, I was lit, you know, fucking these motherfuckers. It was a three day party, you know. You celebrated all weekend. And well, shit. I, I I partied Saturday and uh, I came out, had some dinner out here, um, and ended up going to a few little bars out here. He ese día sí. The thing is, I mixed it that day crazy. Where I I remember having rum, tequila, and um, whatever the fuck's in a Moscow Mule. Jim. I had a Moscow Mule to start off the night, and then fucking rum, and then tequila. Way, cuando puse un pinche pedón de la verga que on the way home. Um, <coughs> I had a fucking phone conversation that I remember being fucking forty five seconds. It was 27 minutes, <laughs> you know? And then when I finally look up, because I was on FaceTime, when I finally look up, I'm fucking seeing double lanes, double cars. I was tweaking. Wait, so far, you know how to fucking drive, you know, or be driven home the rest of the way with my eyes closed because I was fucking, uh, not pedido, wey. Pedido. Sheesh. And then Sunday, well, I get up and fucking, you know, had to set up and, well, I didn't set up. I'm bullshitting. I was fucking around and. My compa set up, you know, he had everything. <laughs> His backyard's almost party ready, you know. So so Seaway fucking it was a it was a good time way. I I, I I had a lot of fun. Oh where I was going with that that fucking Leva and then, you know, at twelve, whatever, they played on Mañanitas and then they played on El Mas de las Mariposas, way. <laughs> y bailamos and they did the circle. Nah, no mames. Yep de verga, way. It was a a great time, way. So shout out everybody who fucking spent my birthday with me. Hell Go yeah. Again. I don't celebrate my birthday. I've been years. Well, you know what, bro? I'll tell you what. And this I, is I, the I, first time I I've ever <clears throat> known myself. Okay. Uh, you, I've, last year, I had uh, was my first year living on my own. 
And um, I had my friends over at my place, but that was just, that night was strictly just guys, you know. There was literally probably fucking seven or eight of us, you know. Pero this is the first time that, you know, like, me, myself, I pay for the music yeah, and, and, sure. and shit like that. So it was a good feeling, way. I mean, it took me, you know, till I was 32. Uh, the good pero. part is, like, it doesn't matter what the reason is, but reuniting with people, you know? Oh, sí, Juntando way. la gente y sí, todo eso, Sí, sí, sí. Porque I'm not a big, like, and for me, um, I stopped celebrating my birthday. I, I guess I never, casi. Yeah. But I think you see you hit a certain age where you stop, and then there's a certain age where you should start again. Because once yeah. you get older, shit, you got to celebrate you fucking still yeah. alive. Hell yeah. You know? Fuck it. Like, You're right on that. Right? Yeah. Like, celebrate that. Fuck, I'm still alive. I really didn't. Tampoco, eh? I think because we're musicians. I, like I, the probably, yeah. you the birthday was like. Playing on your birthday. Yeah, and shit, it was like not. Ex- like, it was not a priority to celebrate your birthday. If you yeah. had a, a fucking private. You're like, nah, I got to go play. Yeah. That was back then. But you're right, man. And then when you get older, you're like, well, fuck, I want to celebrate. No, celebrate, I'm celebrating for real, man. <laughs> I'm yeah. alive. Otro año, ya chingue. I'm still here. Uh, the, the funny part about your fucking stories is that uh, you can open a fucking bottle of champagne, compa. Yeah, man. Whoever's, I, well, I posted yeah, You were pretty fucked up. No, mom then. is. Yeah, I was, I was lit by then. Yeah. By that time, you were fucked up. No, wait. Well, midnight. That was at midnight. And I didn't eat all, all fucking Sunday because... First of all, I was fucking cruel as fuck. And I had a really, really big meal fucking Saturday night. So yeah. I didn't eat. Like, oh, later, I'll eat later, later. Later, later happened. You know, there was, there was no later, you know. I'm like, I did take a bite of the cake. Mm-hmm. I like, I took, I ate there. I took a bite of the cake. Maybe ate, ate a little couple chips and guacamole or something. But yeah, wait, I was, I was feeling good for sure. What a year difference does, huh? Yeah. What a changed guy over here. <laughs> you got to celebrate next year. That's sure, yeah. yeah Jesus yeah. year. 33. Yeah. 33? Is that what? That was, that's Jesus year. That's how old he was? Yeah, right? When he passed or killed or whatever. Is that what happened? <laughs> that's what they say. Well, that's that's what <laughs> the like nonfiction book says. There's a lot of controversy <laughs> about that right now, no? <laughs> that's what the best-selling nonfiction <laughs> book says. <laughs> I, I like just said that because of Carlos, though. <laughs> he That's says why that, I right? said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still a, Whoa, fuck, a bad I, Catholic, but I'm Catholic. Next year, the party is going to be bigger for Jesus' year. Yeah. No alcohol. There you go. <laughs> no you got to wear a toggle, though. No drugs, no alcohol. No sex. No, s- no sex. I don't know if I can no, no, agree with that Jesus, one. G. Jesus. All right. You do it for Jesus. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That's a very good point, man. The 33, the Scotty Pippen. There you go. No party next year. The year of Jesus. Party <laughs> so next year. So it should year. be a very good year. At St. Simon of Joe <laughs> fucking Aurora. <laughs> Midnight Mass. St. Therese. Hell no. Yeah, hell yeah, St. Therese. How do you feel about the fucking, uh, right now that we brought thirty good old 33 up, um, did we bring it up last time on, on the other podcast? Because I keep seeing it more and more with the fucking... Young generation, because you're rocking the bull's head as well. Do you feel like these motherfuckers just keep saying, like, is it a generational thing? Like, did did the older guys think the same of us when we started saying Michael Jordan is the best? And they were like, well, what's up with motherfucking Wilt Chamberlain and See, I think Bill Russell? I think our era was different. Because when I would hear Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Wilt Chamberlain, I w- there was like a respect, you know, like, Okay, is Michael Jordan the best? You know, but I think he proved that after the six peat, the three, the two three peats. I think he proved it. He dominated completely. Well, um, Will Chamberlain, um, or I Bill b- Russell. Bill Russell. It, the sport was different back then, and they can have that argument now. Yeah, yeah. About oh, the sport's different, Way but different. if you watch basketball when it started. It wasn't as tough as it was in the nineties either. Yeah, it, it yeah, got really bad. So right? in that the eighties, it started when Larry Bird and um, 
with the Pist- Bad Boy mm. Pistons, Larry Bird, yeah, that's what the Detroit Lakers. Was the that's when it started the, getting yeah, tough. With the, with the big like, one, right? But is that Physical. an argument that we're never going to finish, son? Because it's just... It's never going to finish. It, it goes, is. It, goes it is, back. just the old, the old people going against the young crowd. Yeah, well, that's what, young, is yeah. that what it is? Then, yeah, it's never going to finish. Yeah, but... I kind of I kind of just am over that, so that then conversation. Ten, ten years from now, or let's just say for fucking mathematics uh, fucking sake, when you turn 40... Do you think that the that generation is gonna automatically think LeBron James is the, the no goal? no no the generation of now is gonna say Steph Curry, right? Well, Steph is Curry is better than all of them because his numbers. Yeah, yeah. Se- Steph Curry still has some time left in the fucking league, and he's only how many has he won already? Better he went better, four, you know. But I mean, yeah, yeah, I think huh? he got four some shit. Four. Know. Yeah, right. Four. four. So if he wins another three. He's better than you Michael think Jordan. No, no, he's not. See, he's well, never going to be better than Michael Jordan. No, well, in our eyes, he's not going to, but, but the, their me, conversation the, is going to be with the younger kids. There's who, there's who no conversation. <laughs> there's no fucking conversation. And let me tell you why. Well, you know why, why? why? I'm going to keep why? it simple. It's simple. Michael Jordan left no doubt when he won. No fucking doubt. Whatever. Steph Curry... He's he's a very good shooter. Probably he's gonna go down as the best scorer ever. But there's still like that doubt. Like who can beat him? There's people that can beat him. LeBron James got 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 beaten. And they're gonna say, oh, Michael Jordan lost before all these years before he won yeah. the championships. Yeah, but once he started winning, he didn't well, fucking there lose was no, no more. Stopping them, yeah. He 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 stopped, he retired winning. He sucks at baseball. Yeah. But he's yeah. a badass motherfucker. I can't he probably. changed he, the sport. He's a bro. badass motherfucker, bro. But at the end of the, at the end of the Ooh. day, Laneta, Michael Jordan. Jordan. But at the end of the day, o sea, he didn't win the championships by himself. You know. See, that's he true. He didn't win the championships by himself. That's it was true. a dynasty team that but, won it. Pero he, Michael he, Jordan was the centerpiece. He pushed his players. He was the center, yeah, he was the reason why he was the Kobe. You know, he was the Kobe. He was the motherfucker. That, Whether he did it. Like an asshole, yeah. or he didn't. He still no. made those motherfuckers better. Winners. He made them better. Like they start complaining. Bill Cartwright was complaining. Scottie Pippen was complaining. Why the fuck didn't they leave the Bulls? Why did they stay there? If he, they were being treated like shit by Jordan, because they wanted they to be, left. They wanted to win, nah, but they wanted, they wanted to win. To win. You know? you, do you don't you don't think Jordan's the the goat? Oh hell yeah! Oh you do? Okay. Yeah yeah yeah. I just see there's no argument. Yeah. Is I there, mean, until uh, until uh, another team. With a star player does that shit, six in a, you know, fucking and, and, damn near and, and, six and in and a let row. Let me tell you another thing. Then, then no if way. we would have had yeah, social no media when Jordan was the shit, it would be another fucking yeah. conversation right now. Well, he was big. He was still the he biggest big. fucking athlete in the world at that time, you know? Because of Jordan, they play basketball in Mexico now. Mm. Yeah. Or it got popular. They've always played, right? Yeah. But it got popular because of Michael Jordan. And uh, LeBron James, he's a good ass player. Yeah, he's a, he's, he's he a good ass player. He's, he is one of the greats. Yes, but he might not be the greatest yeah. who ever played. Well, yeah, at the end of the day, then it comes down to statistics, you know. And and and, and his, if his stats are stacking up better than what Jordan did, they're gonna say, "Oh, well, look, on paper, he was better." And let me tell you this: if you were a little fucking mequito when Jordan was mi- winning, when Jordan was winning. I was, uh, I, was here I was old you enough. I wasn't born yet. I was old enough to understand the sport, and I'm old enough to understand it now. So I think it's my my opinion because yeah. I'm older. You were too. Maybe they were too smart. <coughs> yeah, they were too when, small. when Jordan well, was winning. Because I was ninety ninety three. I was three years old. You know, like so. I have an opinion. You know, I can yeah. say see, see, see. like because I, I watch both of the, the sports changed a lot. Like at the NFL. See, see, I will, I will. Uh, now one on one. I think Jordan still beat LeBron James' ass. Oh uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think he will. Uh, back in the day, prime Jordan versus prime LeBron. I think Michael Jordan. Re- regardless, beat regardless LeBron of LeBron's right size, <clears throat> and I don't care, motherfuckers are gonna disagree with me, but fuck them. <laughs> fuck you guys. I swear to God. Fuck you guys. <laughs> like a pl- and, and they're gonna say that I'm a hater, but I just don't see it, man. Maybe I'm biased because I grew up in the Jordan era. I'm from Chicago. Me tocó, you know, it was badass when Jordan was winning. And it, it, it was like the first Chicago team that actually started winning, you know? 
and dominated for six years. <laughs> yeah. That was a good feeling, too, back then. I can't say that I have a... <coughs> oh, I remember the game, this and that. But I... Because I was so young. But I do remember when they would win and people were just honking. Even in A-Town, they got everybody just driving around fucking honking, way Because they had won again, you know? Like, crazy. That's the shit I remember, way. Yeah. You know? I, if, I, mm. if it was crazy in Aurora, I could just imagine how it was. It was crazy in Chicago. In the city. They were on the yeah. top, uh, top of the CTA buses. <laughs> Rocking it I would back and forth. Because I used to live on a big street. Caucasians were doing that? Nah, he's Hispanics. <laughs> of course. Uh, <laughs> I, like how you, I like how you guys think about it. But uh, uh, there's well, no... Well, you know what? Like, I went to the... I went to the... I, I can't remember what year. It was maybe the third one they bought. One to the Hawks fucking parade. Yeah. When the, when the oh, Blackhawks. Oh, the Blackhawks. You yeah. know? And that was badass way or sad. Just to see all the fucking people or sad. That was a fucking badass fucking feeling, you know. So I could just imagine what it was then. Even then, being so young, being a kid, you know, seeing that shit. Holy fuck. Because like, if I remember how it was out there, I think for you guys, it must have been an even better experience. And nobody's ever going to take, beat your opinion because you lived that shit, you know. You were fucking I'm, I'm willing awe, to make a bet. <laughs> Ten years after LeBron James retired, I want to see a motherfucker wear the LeBron James shoes. Uh, yeah. I want to see they're, a they're motherfucker not gonna wear them. He's not gonna. He's not gonna. No. He's not gonna have that effect. No. Fucking Jordan is. How many years has it been? And this motherfucker's still selling two hundred dollar shoes that come out every year, the same fucking shoe, and people buy them. People buy them. I'm saying that because I what went and bought think, myself a fucking pair of Jordans this weekend. And I Jordan's a goat. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, Me, compa, I was yeah. watching soccer. He didn't give a fuck about fucking I don't know I shit don't about soccer, bro. I just watched I got into it a little bit when I was a kid. The soccer? During the, during the Michael Jordan era. Right. I just remember Luis Hernandez. Oh, el matador. He, the famous goalkeeper, este, Jorge Campos. Jorge Campos. That was my, I think that was my yeah. favorite player back that's, in the day. That's when I got a little bit into soccer. Soccer stresses me the fuck out. I, I realized. <laughs> I stopped watching it's it. It's not good for his age. It's not good for my <laughs> age since back in the day. Yeah. It's not good for my stress. Like, it just, right away, minute three, I'm already screaming at the fucking, they're just, you know what? It's fucking crazy to think that Mexico as a country, and in the United States, too, is so fucking big. And they can't get like eleven decent ass players, you know, like. And you know what? It irks me because fucking paisas are, you know, Mexicans are. Yeah. Like, look at look at how they dominate boxing. I don't know, man. They should dominate that. Sport. On, hey, on Netflix, huh? On Netflix, there's a great documentary right now. On that guy, uh. <coughs> fuck, what's his name? It was an NBA referee that got caught. The, with the Lakers? No, the referee? No, he was betting on his games. Yeah, with the Lakers. That he helped the Lakers win. No, no, no. It wasn't that one. It wasn't that was, one? Yeah, he was... He, he came out and confessed. He was picking teams for the for the mafia. Uh-huh. For the, I think, the Italian mafia. Or uh-huh. Um, it's it's un- t- on Netflix. It's untold. Yeah. Flagrant foul. Because yeah. I, I, I heard of a referee that... He actually helped the Lakers win a championship that I think, um, who was it Oh, against? you know what? Well, he, he was part of that. Oh, he was? Yeah, he was part of that game, the Lakers-Sacramento Kings. I think it was, right? Yeah, yeah. Chris Webber was on the Chris Kings. Chris Webber? Yeah, and, and they um, were down 3-2. Yes. And they fucking did two huge calls in game yes, six or yes. some shit. See, and, and I, he- I heard somebody bring... <laughs> Because you know how they say Michael Jordan is the GOAT, and a lot of people argue after Michael Jordan is Kobe and then, and then LeBron? Yeah. Well, somebody that defending LeBron brought up that that um, that point that what about that championship that was given to them? Um, like that, that's you, a, you can't be a number two yeah. if you did that, you know? That's in that. Check that one out, man. I mean, I, it's because I think there was just a lot more even – there was just a lot of great players back in the day, too. I mean, like, Dude. tons. All the teams were stacked. Way. It wasn't like there was one team that was... I think all the teams had... It was really hard in the play. playoffs yeah. for everybody. Yeah, in the 90s, it, was it wasn't never, like, one-sided. Yeah. 
I remember Adam all that Iverson. shit because of basketball cards. Alan and Iverson. Shit. Yeah. Alan Iverson. What about yeah. Alonzo Mourning? Alonzo Bro, Mourning. Like he had a great, uh, crazy ass team. David Robinson. Scott the Scott. Spurs, that the that, that Orlando have, Magic team. The Spurs team. have kid been good for fucking ever. That Tim Orlando Duncan. Magic team that the Bulls beat. Shaq, Penny Hardaway, Scott Hard- Skiles. Yeah, bro, there were so many. So, so Anderson. Many great teams there. Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson. Yeah. That's what it was. There was just so many great teams. Mm. So it was really competitive. Like, yes. And then people they under, under, underestimate. Okay, this guy, they beat this team. They beat that team. LeBron James beat the Warriors. Yeah. Like, that don't mean shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the Bulls beating the Seattle Supersonics back then. Supersonics were crazy, bro. They beat the Supersonics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sean Kemp and um, <laughs> Gary yeah. Payton. Gary Payton. That was a and uh, Reggie Perkins or some shit. I think Gary Perkins or Gary Perkins. Yeah, no shit. or Sam Perkins. Sam Perkins. Sam Perkins. Even the Center. fucking Reggie Miller, Indiana Pacers. Reggie Miller was a beast. Yeah, yeah, Reggie Miller is a beast. Come on, he's yeah. good. Fuck though. LeBron. He's ugly. <laughs> Regiment. See, that's the thing that the, the now, ki- and then now the right, kids with only the whole LeBron thing. I think. <laughs> I think see, the kids LeBron only based it on highlights. The oh, young only kids see. only based it on highlights. They really didn't watch the games, and then there's there's only certain games they can go back and watch. Yeah, they can't watch everything. Not everything is in, you know, saved or in files or whatever. I remember. Before, uh, nah, I'm good, bro. Like Dominique Wilkins. You remember that yeah, guy? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, he was an older guy. But he was good. Atlanta Hawks. And then they can say, oh, Jordan didn't do it by himself. Jordan left. Bulls Bulls didn't win. Oh, yep. Hey, you know what else you guys should watch? You guys would like it. It's another one of those untold on Netflix from Manti <laughs> Teo. You know that guy? Oh, that one just came out, no? Which Man- one? Manti yeah, Teo. Manti Teo. The what is that, that about? It's no, called. No, no, uh, this is the first guy ever who got catfished. My girlfriend is not dead. I think is the title of that. Uh, something oh, like that. Not. So this man Teo, starting quarterback for Notre Dame college football. This was such a big scandal. You guys don't remember? I, I don't remember when it happened. <laughs> I, I remember when that. I don't remember happened. either. Because uh, this guy it was a big time drafted. dude. Yeah, he was a big time dude from Hawaii. He went to Notre Dame. Oh wait 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 yeah yeah keep head up. <clears throat> MVP, undefeated fucking, like, senior season, I think. Or junior or senior season. Undefeated way. But through all, all this shit, he was the first guy that technically got catfished through Facebook. Some, some guy from Hawaii made a page. Where, uh, this is a great segue. Because we can talk, you know, Latinx and, and, and transgendering and And, and I, got, I got a good story about that before okay. we, we go to the conversation. So this guy felt like he was a woman, so he made a fake page with a woman, different pictures, started messaging this guy while he was in Notre Dame, got your old way, you know, like, oh, you're from the same town I'm in, fucking Hawaii, Chinacates, y la verga. And then... Did you say Chinacates? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a uh, fucking uh, town over there. <laughs> Neymar. Well, you know what, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> Fuck it. Puro pedo, wey. Hey, bro, I, I got boys from <laughs> Gina Cates, <laughs> bro. <laughs> anyway, fuck it, he was from Gina yeah. Cates. Yeah, what? Yeah, it's just fuck a story, it. bro. It's well, funny check how, it out on Netflix. It's funny how, <laughs> how you didn't pick a city from Michoacan and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was in Hawaii. Oh, uh, Hawaii, Gina Cates. Oh, <laughs> 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 he was in Hawaii, <laughs> pero emigró de Gina Cates. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y el vato es, te le empezó a mandar mensaje and the guy falls for it, güey. Mm-hmm. And this guy is the number one quarterback in the nation, güey. Goes to the championship game. Um, ironically, or not ironically, that's a bad word, but his grandma dies like a week before the championship game. During all this shit, bro, this guy dated this girl for, I think, three years. I kind of want to remember this. It's, it's like coming he back. He wasn't a quarterback, though. Wasn't he a big yeah. guy? Wasn't he a oh, he was a linebacker. Yeah. 
Yeah. My bad. He was a linebacker. I, I, it's coming he was the number one me. linebacker. Yeah, though. He, was a, yeah. he was a shit, though. Era el mas verga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, he had all the hype around him because he was about to be like number one pick and shit, you know? The guy who ended up winning the Heisman that year was Man, Manziel. Oh, what's his name? Do you guys remember that guy? Johnny Manziel. Johnny yeah. Popo. Oh, Johnny Popo. yes. See, now, now it's all coming back. Yeah, so he came in like second place, the Manti Teo linebacker. You're right. And um, he was talking to this girl for like about three years, but never met her way. And they're falling in love. Oh, I got a better one, but keep going. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm, Long story I'm, short a, way, I'm gonna one I, I would, you. I would want you to go and check this Netflix. Um, so the, they made it a, a Netflix series. Yes. Like a mini series. Uh, just a one. Or one episode. Mm-hmm. Hour, hour and a half or something. He comes out. Al fin del día, he talks so, about it. Is he like? Yeah, he's in there. He's oh, fucking shit. yeah. I don't want to fuck it up for anybody, but he's in there, and the the girl the, guy. The, the is, catfisher. The catfisher. <laughs> and and technically, Manti didn't know that the catfisher now is dressed in a woman. Like now he's he he went, uh, he went the whole years. I uh, I. Cambio. Si, sí, pero ¿cuál es la palabra que dicen? Oh, she identifies, <coughs> identifies. <coughs> she identifies as a woman now. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, bro. So go check it out. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's on Netflix. It's a great man type fucking tale story. So, what's your story? Remember the show Christina? Of course. So there's an episode. He's a man. That's that got canceled by Univision because back then there wasn't all this bull crap with the defending all this whatever you know. We'll we'll get to into that yeah, conversation yeah, yeah. next. So it was it was like a a hard programa. It was about this guy that met a girl. Whatever, you know, dated her, blah, blah, blah. They got married. And once they got married, they started to want to have kids. So, the f- he's like, you know what? We're not getting pregnant. Okay. So, dude goes to check himself. So, like, he's like, hey, I'm good. You go check yourself now. So... La mujer nunca se iba a chequear. So él made the appointment, because he really wanted to have kids. He made the appointment. He took the chick to get tested. So the doctor calls them in. He sits them down. And he's like, do you really want me to tell your husband? Oh, I don't want to hear this shit. This guy? Do you really want? Do you do you, do you do you? This is what the what the show was about. Yeah. I don't know if it's true. Wait, can I can I interrupt you real quick? Go ahead. That no. never came oh. out. It came out because oh, I saw that show, and I was a shorty. I was young. I was yeah, like so it was from a fourteen. Long time ago? Yes, when Christina was on fucking so on the Yeah, I know. I read. Christina you mean it came out, and ago. now they brought it down. I That's try to look for it. Yeah, you can watch a lot of fucking Christina shows on YouTube, but that sh- that episode, no, I don't even uh, know what it's called. No. You know. Yeah. So it's hard for me to try to search it. Okay, but I remember, because it. it was crazy. It's like the first time me of hearing of, of, a, of a guy can do a this. A guy who changed this. So sex. the doctor told him, Le quieres decir, te voy a dar la oportunidad de que tú le digas a tu esposo que es lo que está pasando. Y no me acuerdo si el, si el último le dijo, el doctor le dijo ella, el caso fue que era hombre. Yeah. Y el vato no se dio cuenta. Had a vagina. Yeah. And I didn't even know that that was possible and back then when I was 14. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's very and, crazy. And, and you, and you were know like, how, these guys are just fucking how, around. How now technology, I heard that gay men that want to look like women, they even, um, sh- uh, ¿cómo se dice? Cuando te lijan como con una lija. <laughs> Cuando te lijan con una lija. Their cheekbones. <laughs> Their cheekbones. They, they grind uh, them down? Grind them down. And the muñecas, they get grind them down so they don't look like man arms. Ad- and so Adam's their, f- their facial shit. features don't the look Adam's like... The Adam's apple, too. Uh, yeah, the Adam's apple. So, the... the it's happening. The dude... <laughs> but the, you know what the messed up part is? Dude was in love with a man thinking it was a woman. Right, right. What the hell do you do then? Yeah. You're I in see. love, bro. That was that, yeah. Yeah. Is the dude gay? That was the original catfish. Is the dude gay? No, no, no. no. I seen the English no. version today on Jerry. There's an English Jerry version. Jerry Springer. Well, there you okay. go. It has to have yeah. happened. Yeah. They had kind of the same shit. Like all oh, this. It was all a long time you, ago yeah, too. She wants yeah. to tell you something. And oh yeah. 
Jerry but you know how Jerry Springer's a setup, but Jerry, the Christina, Jerry, the Christina show could have been a setup too. <laughs> yeah, it could have been a setup. I used to love staying home from school and watch Jerry Springer. What was the security? Steve? Steve? Yeah, Steve. Steve. He has his own Steve show. Wilkos. He has his own fucking he ended show. He's having his from, own show from, Jerry from being a fucking security. Yeah, Steve Wilkos. God damn it! So I've been trying to look for that show. I don't know if it's true or not, but I remember that shit. I was freaking out. Like, what the fuck? Well, a man what? can be a woman? Now like? it's happening more than ever. Yeah, but, well, you know, I don't want to speak without knowing exactly, but the numbers also from little that I've heard or seen somewhere, like the percentage rate of the people that kind of do a procedure and then kind of regret it and want to go back, it, it, it's pretty high, I heard. Yeah. Oh, is that because it's one of these things that, Maybe it's, I hate to say it like it's trendy, right? But it's a, it's kind of a thing in a way, maybe. I don't know. In this new generation as well. Where. Uh, it's because I think when they do that change. It's it, los que se arrepienten. I feel like it, it's not as physically pleasuring. It might be pleasuring mind-wise because you want to feel whatever. Or they thought they were going to. But, but yeah, like physically you're. You're meant to have pleasure a certain way. You know what I'm saying? The way you you were made. Like, if you have a penis, you yeah. you know, that's where you're going to get your pleasure from. Now, if you chop down your thing, I know they, they still use the penis to make the vagina, though. Yeah, I right? Heard, that's what that. they said they do, right? They chop it. Is there a YouTube on that or no? You or I don't know. Like I, there probably is. There that's probably is. I, YouTube? That's what I've heard. I Look that up, uh, Jay-Z. <laughs> See if there's a YouTube uh, video of uh, what would we call that? Inverted penis. <laughs> Man to woman surgery or something. Yeah, that's um. Well, that's a big part of the subject. I, I know you're not a big fan. We've had conversations of like the Latin X term. We've also yeah. talked with this with Jesse. That's that. I'm gonna straight up say that's retarded. <laughs> and I probably just m messed up with a with saying retarded, right? But. It's stupid, bro. Who worries about that shit? Who? Like, who came up with it? You know what else trips me out? Bored. Why the fuck they take away Aunt Jemima? <laughs> <laughs> Coolest black like, lady. Like, what the hell, Coolest bro? Coolest black baby, black lady I ever knew, right? Next thing you know, we're not going to be able to say tacos. They're not tacos. They're sandwiches. Sandwi Mexican sandwich sandwiches. Mexican sandwiches. Mexican sandwich. What did uh, Trump say? Like, a Mexican, Mexican rap. Taco Bell or something. Did they replace <laughs> the fucking uh, Green Giant from the vegetables? I don't know. I, I know they took... that guy around. <laughs> and I, I'm thinking about it. I know they took out the Indian from the Redskins. Yeah. And they changed their names. And the Cleveland Indians. Now they're the Guardians. Oh, there is one. Okay. <laughs> They like cut it into four and then they use it to make the cavity, right? And, and you know why they do that? Because some of the skins no se muere. So supposedly when they rub it, it's, they feel some sort, some sort of pleasure. Sheesh. So it's still Don't ask works. me why I it know. It still works. No, it's weird that you know all this but shit. But it'll be fucking YouTube and everything. No, okay, YouTube. You watch these the, the, videos already. The Damn. very little. Because I, I'll be the first to say that I, I am not uh, educated or know much about the whole same Latinx, and I don't want to. Me neither. I'm not educated, yeah. but like that's why I think it's stupid. Maybe I'm the wrong. I'm wrong, right? Right. But like, why is that? Why does that worry anybody? Yeah. Well, that, that's where I'm going. Like technically, from what I've heard, and I could be wrong. Well, too. What What is it used for exactly? It's used for the people that don't really identify as a man or, or, or a woman like i don't understand that whole identifying shit like if you're a man and you like men you're a man that likes men motherfucker if you're a woman that likes women you're a woman that likes wim women so then if you're a man how about if you're a, a man but you think you feel like a woman Because that's what that technically is. So you or feel if, you feel or, like you're a woman. Or if you're a woman. So if you wanna, if you wanna, if and you, you wanna feel like, like you're, you know, you're a, you're a male. So well, like, look, you I'll like male it. shit. You you 
I don't know. I work cars, <laughs> sports. I mean, you don't work at cars. Okay, so you I don't. <laughs> I, but I don't know. I, mean, you I, I understand that. Man. Okay, you're you're a man. You feel like a woman. You're gonna do the transgender thing or whatever. Yeah. Um, but you're still a man. Your DNA. You're still a man. Yeah. Well, that's the counter argument, though. You're the still a man, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with you with feeling like a woman and liking men. If your name is Carlos, you want me to call you Carla? I'll call you Carla, motherfucker. But I ain't gonna call you Latinx. Yeah. That's that's how I feel. Like I think it's stupid. Yeah, like I mean, that one episode from Doctor Phil. That what the fuck tomorrow? I identify as a tomato. Like oh yeah yeah, Doctor Phil had that that uh, guy that was a woman, right? Like yeah, you if your DNA, you're a man, you're a man. You know if you feel like a woman, badass, bro, you're a woman. You know you don't want your name to be Juan. Te llamo Juan, that way. Was that you're so okay with? If someone if if someone tells you I identify as this and you know it's different, yes, I'll call you that. But to me, you're still yeah, you're a bato. Yeah, or eres mujer, eres mujer. I don't know. I just think it was unnecessary. Like, yeah. how how was it disrespecting to anybody? Like the whole Aunt Jemima thing, I understand why they took it off because it was racist. But you think well, my daughter? You you why think was it, why was it racist? I, did you know it was racist? Exactly. No. Well, why? Like, what did they say? What it was, was something what? like, what the hell was it? I forgot what it was. Like the ice cream truck song, you know, it's a racist song, right? Yeah. Uh, it talks about spitting water, melon seeds, or some shit like that. And the so lyrics? it was it was from a racist cartoon. Nice. Like, but but this is my thing. It it it, it was racist. But if you don't tell people where it came from, a lot of, you think the little kids are going to know, oh, I've been in the, the ice cream truck with the racist song. Yeah. No. Right. Or the Star Spangled Banner. Or the Aunt, Aunt Jemima box is racist. Yeah. Unless now somebody they know. that was really bored made such a big deal about it that... La, my daughter, ma, ¿dónde está la caja de la negrita? Va, pues ya, ya no hay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> you, know, you know, like, she didn't know it was racist. I don't know exactly why, but I know it's bec they took her down because it was racist. Hey, they also took off the fucking, the, the fucking the Mexican guy? looking guy. Is it, was it the oatmeal guy? The Mexican looking guy for the coffee that was on the donkey. Oh. Yeah, I Cafe Don Juan or some shit like that. So, so look it. I'm going to start something too. Fuck oh, it. Uh, they got to go. take Speedy Gonzalez off from the cartoons. That's fucking racist. They like have, a motherfucker. have they not? Possibly. I thought they might have already. They did? I want to say they might have already. They beat you to it, Juan. Did that bother you, though? <laughs> no, they didn't bother me. Like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Mm. Or the Mexican guy that's always... You, you, you think that... Did you watch the video Taiga did? Did you watch the video Taiga did? Taiga? Yeah. G -A? They took it down right away. Yeah, Taiga. Yeah, no. He was dressed in, like, Mexican fucking mariachi shit and... See, I that think one, hey. eso me da más and he went out and said, like, oh, I didn't. Sí, como yeah, well, that one was really bad. I didn't get to see it, but it came down pretty fast. And he apologized, Segun, but they made a big deal about it and were, like, bashing people who didn't say something about it. Like, it's so crazy, way. I watch, like, a lot of no, the No <coughs> Jumper podcasts. Yeah, esos ways are relevant way with what fucking going on they always talk they talk about everything you know because they're kind of like well, gossipy whatever yeah, yeah. Way. I get so it. they were they were giving one of the dudes on there is Juno he's a fucking like influencer whatever he he blew up and like they were giving him shit because he didn't say nothing you know because he was like oh well like he he didn't protest so they were giving him shit you know so it's like, well, uh, some people, they, they don't take offense to it, you know, or whatever, you know, like, I don't know. I just think that those are people who are really fucking bored. I, I, I don't judge people, but like right now, I'm really against homosexualism being pushed down on children. Yeah. I'm against it. Like, yeah, somebody, somebody made a about comment Toy about... Toy Story or something? Toy Story? Oh, Toy Story, Toy yeah. Story. Toy Story um, there's another little show on Netflix about dinosaurs. Um, también, yeah. there, there's a there's a lot of shows where kids have two parents, kid, whatever, and I understand why they want to do it, but I think they're forcing other parents 
that don't want to talk to their kids about it yet to talk about to talk to them about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, why should I follow them? Why Why am I being forced to do what they just because you know them? You, I think you should be okay just teaching your kids to respect everybody no matter what. That's it. You don't need to tell them it's okay to have two dads. It's okay to have two kids. No, don't judge nobody. But you know, I I don't know. That's a big subject now, right now. I think the whole um, how how do parents really feel about that? Because I think Juanito that it's gonna get even deeper than that. I think it it's is. gonna go with the transgenderism. You know, especially um, you know, having the third bathroom. You know, all that all that stuff. Um, and just, I think it's going to be a thing that as much as we probably don't want it to be pushed upon them, like, in a way, I think it's going to have to happen. It's going to happen sooner than later. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to, and we're being forced to. What's through the school system, right? Yes. I mean. Yes. The school system, social media, uh, the media. There's so much shit because... When our kids start going to like high school, it's not gonna be like when we went to high school. Like, you know, think about like the whole Columbus Day, U.S. history. What are they gonna teach them? Yeah, I in, in, in know those what ten years. What they're teaching yeah. them. You know, what are they now, really gonna yeah. teach like, them like, then? You know, you're not gonna te- teach your kids to hate gay people. No, you're not. Yeah. You're not gonna teach them to hate anybody. You're gonna teach them that you gotta accept people for what they are. But I just don't think, like, I think yeah, yeah. a a four year old. Shouldn't be watching a cartoon about where there's gay characters, you know? Maybe, yeah, they should start being introduced to it. That's why they're doing it. I, I know yeah. why they're doing it. But it's like, are you going to talk to your kid about sex when he's four? Right. Yeah. And yeah. Or, or are you going to talk to him about drugs when he's four? Yeah. It, it's just another topic that needs to be, you know, I just feel like it's being forced on little kids that too are early. Early, too early. Maybe that's the best thing to say. It's being forced on kids too early. What do you do to try to shelter your kids? My kids like are a little bit bigger. They're not yeah. four anymore. Yeah. But I do have an, 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 uh, a little niece uh, that she's four years old. And I noticed she watched a cartoon where I think there's like gay little dinosaurs or something like that. Oh, um, and I don't think it's appropriate for her to know that yet. You know, like, yeah. I feel like you're f- putting it into kids' heads. It's like letting them game bang or, or, or tell them about gangs when they're four. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't sure what, which gang bang you yeah, were talking about. Yeah, what's up? Black and gold, <laughs> baby blue and black. You yeah. know, like. Not the other gang banging. Oh, my bad. So it's like you're, you're pushing them. Yeah, go ahead, be gay. Or no, be heterosexual. No, don't force them to do anything. Don't force them that to hate gay people, but you know, it goes both ways. That's how I feel. And I don't hate gay people. I know I have gay friends. Yeah, you know what? It, it, obviously fucking it starts at home. It doesn't help that at school for ex- I'll talk for CPS um where you have schools, elementary schools that do like K through eight, you know, and, and they share the same bathroom and a little kindergarten probably can go into the stall and see a fucking, what's in the fucking stall of the guy's bathroom all the time? Fucking cock. Somebody drew a fucking oh, cock. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And your kindergarten yeah. is fucking going in there and take a piss and like, hey, what is that? I see this fucking thing. Yeah. You know, like it's, it's, it's a little bit of all that shit. But I think it's uh, it's gonna be interesting as times for sure, way. Yeah, whatever's it is. coming. And you're right. As far as even the drugs, like you even have to start thinking, like, you know, the uh, the older I get now, and I see and I read sh- a lot of shit, and I'm seeing more shit. I also start wondering, like, you don't think it's weird? Well, at least not in my fucking school. Maybe in yours, I doubt it. But just just for argument's sake, you don't think it's weird that they never taught you about slavery in school? Or did they ever teach you about slavery in school? I think they did. I Hardcore? <coughs> well, they never... <coughs> like, I don't really remember us fucking dedicating legit time for fucking U.S. history. It was slavery. mentioned, but I don't remember it being, like, a big subject now. 
Yeah. I remember I it being mentioned. Weird. Yeah, I think I think I remember it being mentioned too. Yeah. Well, then I guess I was. I, didn't pay I don't remember. But shit. I'm more like your age though, so more sleep. I, I, I kind of remember. I just. But they it, never focused on it. Like I just well, back when you guys were in school, there was still <laughs> fucking slavery. Atari, well, bro. Atari slavery now. <laughs> Now we're still all fucking slaves to the man. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it, it, we're not free no more, bro. You, there's, you, we can get canceled for saying dumb shit on this show. So of how course. is that being free? Get your VR goggles, man. <laughs> That's the next move, man. The fucking metaverse. So, oh, what is that? <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> we were talking about VR earlier. I thought you were trying to... Just That's stay, the Oculus. Just stay home and <laughs> is that the Oculus? Yeah, I mean it's yeah. yeah. So technically, like it's the same thing. You put on your VR, mm-hmm. and let's say like, you know, we're like, you know what? Instead of uh, coming to AMG to hang out, hey er- everybody, let's let's meet up on the fucking. There's a name for it, you know, whatever you want to name your. Let's meet up in fucking Chinacate's land <laughs> at 7 p.m. And take your box. Take my everybody. Everybody, <laughs> make sure. Make sure you bring your fucking DV, guys. <laughs> and then there you are in your room, and I'm in my fucking living room. Oh this guy's doing laundry, but with his VR on. But we're then when we log in, we're all gonna see each other. We're all gonna have the Scarlet's fucking. Scarlet's um, there. Yeah, Rihanna's there. You're there with Scarlet. Is there. We're just like hell yeah, and we're just chilling. But it's in the metaverse. See, so that, so with the gang bang we were talking about. <laughs> That'll be crazy. Wow. But technically, we're going to be able to do all that shit. Yeah. So that's kind of fucking... Uh, Shout out to the people that are going to hate me after they listen to this and watch yeah. this. Well, you know what? The thing is that I hope that it doesn't turn... That there is no hate. I, I do want people I, I, to... I, I respect everybody. Like, whatever doesn't affect me, I don't care, you know? But if, if I want to raise my people a certain way, well, let me raise my people my certain way. Yeah. You want to... Show your kid whatever you want at whatever age. That's that's you. That's fine. Yeah. 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 That, and I think that's the cool part way that, and even people could see us laughing at comments, and it's not like we don't. It's not a disrespectful way for us. Mm-hmm. It's like, look, we're. That's how we are chilling, talking, and at the end of the day, it's just a, a perspective. It's your perspective. We can sit down here with someone else next week, and they're gonna be. All for it, you know? Yes, yeah. And we're going to be like, all right, well, that's cool. And we'll make some fucking and, jokes. And I, and I won't judge. No, no, we'll make jokes oh, about oh, I, heterosexual <laughs> men and women and shit. <laughs> and how they wash their ass. Yeah, how <laughs> they wash their ass. <laughs> oh, it's like, everybody's going to hear about this one. Yeah. Just don't trip. <laughs> how, can you, how can you, you know, be mad at us? Like, it's a fucking, like, we're just, hey, man, it's your perspective. That's the cool thing about that, it. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't care what everybody else does, like. It doesn't affect me, but I think like the all the the stuff that's being forced is it is kind of affecting me. Like having to have, I'm lucky my kids are a little bit bigger now, but I feel like I have to have certain conversations with them because of social media. Yeah, because it's already and, getting and, pushed. And, and not only about homosexualism. Yeah, yeah. About sex, about drugs, drugs. about puppy was this. Yeah. What's that? You know, that, that's 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 what I'm getting to. Social media is, is, is very much vulgar, you know. People are ballsier on social media, obviously, than in person. Like, what if your kids find out about bestiality? What the yeah. fuck are you going to tell them? You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't know about bestiality when they're 5 or 6, 10, 11. What's bestiality? Yeah, just to clear that up. What exactly do you mean by that? So you don't know what bestiality is? No. What's you, to say? you want me to be blunt? Yeah. When motherfuckers fuck animals. Oh, okay. So out in Mexico then. Oh my god. Yo no dije. No, no, no. Allá en el Vergel. También. No, oh, yeah, también. <laughs> también. No voy a decir que no. Hasta las gallinas, órale. I, I used to think Los it was gallinas. weird back in the day, Chimbas. man. Huh? I thought I thought that was weird back in the day for these young people that might be watching or listening. Is Los pinches burros. So you don't think it's weird no more? No, I thought it was really BCL weird. Like it's at, cool, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys, no, I think it's, it's weird good. now. Don't let <laughs> Carlos babysit your dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I would just think like, I would hear the like, oh. 
so fueron a las burras. So I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, really? Like, so, just, so it was that common? Look, I've heard where, where stories. Where I'm from, they yeah. would hide. Well, I mean, I've heard... They wouldn't want to let people... Yeah, güey, pero todavía sí, la gente... Pues sí, sabía, los cachaban. Yeah. Hey, lo más porque se escondía... Doesn't mean que no te vieron, güey. Ah, <laughs> sí. when, when I would hear the uh, back in the day stories with... And I'm talking about, like, I was 12, 13. I was already hanging around with these older guys that came from the rancho, you know, left their wives and came here. And they were straight from the rancho. And, you know, they would just talk stories and... Even when we were in the banda, I don't want to expose, but, you know, there was a particular dude that would tell us, like, oh, yeah, you know, when we were teenagers, you know, way even back then. Uh, banda Azteca? Yeah. Was it Fry? No, no. <laughs> I was going to beat me, too, and I was going to say the exact same thing. Dude, and Fuck they would fry. talk about, like, <laughs> las puercas, las puerquitas, like, the actual pigs. And I was just like, what the I fuck had a, is going on? I like, had a guy tell me. Like, how do you as a man get hard for that shit? And he was from Zamora. He told me nah, those people over there a puerca feels horny, exactly yeah. like a woman. There you go. I've heard that. I've heard even a chicken. Like crazy. Did, I heard some crazy shit. Wait, no, I, no, fuck no. Well, I mean, I haven't been to Mexico in about 20 years, but my thought would always be like, how do these guys do it? And then you start thinking, and you're like, well, in that time, I don't know if it still happens. It's a thing that might happen now. I or think not. it's not like it's not more that common anymore. I think before because you know that shit would get out around real fast. The chicks are, they're it it, it, it does yeah, exist. Now, now the little the chicks are now the girls are out there like yeah. fuck it. Would you I, give I, it up? I, I, it I think doesn't help that there's a lot of little narquillos out there. And Save shit. a puerca, Mas bang me. No <laughs> <laughs> shirt coming soon. Yeah, <laughs> so you can sense all your fucking cousins in Mexico. <laughs> well, I mean that's some progress. Back in the day, family was banging family. Yeah, you know. Then they went on. I think that still happens. The family, family. Yeah. that's a hard one. I don't know about this. Sure. Uh, rancho, you think so? Anywhere here too. Yeah, here too. Hell yeah. Like down south. No, right? must everybody you like. No, like fucking Mexican six zero six five two type of shit. Ah, but the whites, the whites are known for that too. Down south. Todos, to every race. Some crazy shit that happens. Damn. Did you hear the rumor about Carl Malone? Having like a really young yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he you know he's from yeah. obviously in Utah yeah and they have a lot of Mormons there yep those fucking guys they can marry like up to as many times as they want yeah Carl Malone's a Mormon well he's right there from Utah and yeah he se vale se vale the the plural marriage they call it now well hey well, what's that religion that supposedly that's, that's the fucking do 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 dudes be like, <coughs> oh, I dreamed that. I don't know if it's the priest or the whatever you call it. Como se llama? Pastor or whatever. Supposedly he tells the people from his, what do you call when you have your congregation? Congregation. Oh, I had a dream that, I mean, you made love and the, the women have to. That's that's a Netflix special right there. I've seen that Netflix. Yeah, that's I haven't seen that, I, but I've heard of that. You must have saw the fucking preview or something uh, while you were falling asleep because that's a, that's a Netflix. Well, special. a lot of those. I don't uh, know what it's called, but a lot of those uh, plural marriages like that too. Like there's one that's called like uh, fire. Obey, pray, and some shit else. Eat or some shit, and it's about a fucking guy that just. I think that's what that one is. Yeah. Like. The guy's like, the head guy's like, oh, I seen myself with that 13 year girl. So. Uh, a skinny her. guy? Yeah. Glasses, I think I, I started goofy seeing looking that. Ass nigga. And I heard of that before, though. Yeah. They, that happens in Mexico, too. I bet. Mm -hmm. And there was another guy, like an Indian dude, that did like yoga and shit. He también ese way, uh, was just picking them out and shit. I can imagine him in Mexico. El compadre, soñé la comadre. Well, they, uh, they say that about El, El Chapo, that he was banging really young chicks. Allegedly. Allegedly. Well, yeah. well, Why? Just because he's isn't Mexican, his, allegedly? Isn't his, wasn't no, his wife isn't like Chapo 15? He's he Chapo, his, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> wasn't his wife like 15, 16? Tío. Uh, 16, I think, right? I when think she so. met her. When he met she her. was young. Yeah. She was young. Well, I mean, well, I mean it's, it's out there. It's but you know what? It's been a thing, right? Like the old school songs. Uh, yeah. 
14 años y 9 meses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> el, está deporrando al jefe, tráigame una que no está usada, like a virgin, you yeah. know, like. But you know what? Nowadays, these little girls are crazy to say. <coughs> Ten. I crazy. know, I know little, my cousin's little cousin, not my cousin. Um, He, he lost his virginity when he was 10 with a 10 year old. With a 10 year old. A boy. Yes, a, a boy, boy with another girl that was 10 years old. When another that girl was that was 10 years 10 old. 10 years old. But do you really know what sex is at 10 years old? Well, it's getting pushed. Just remember when you were 10. I didn't. Me neither. I had even but right now, yet. but right now, I think that you're right. To a certain point, it is getting a little pushed. Yes, them, you know, like fourteen year olds. You're right. There's a lot of eighth graders. Well, it, it's hard for us to imagine. I think because well, we don't have the access to shit that the kids have nowadays. Exactly. Right? But it, it's uh, it has to start with home though. Like if you're a well, parent, yeah. how can you not? Well, that that's see what, that they're watching. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like that's why I was asking you. Like, what do you do to protect? See, it goes your back. To, it goes yeah, back to my know? point. Yeah. Well, you gotta be on it. Yeah, but it's impossible, bro. Well, that's what I—that's what I was gonna go with. That, like, you're right about the school system and shit. I mean, at the end of the day, you're—you're you're not gonna be there, so you don't know what the fuck. Yeah, and, and, and it all goes you know? back to being politically correct, and oh, everybody has the same rights, and man, fuck all that shit, bro. Let's keep it traditional. <laughs> Man, they let, have all the rights. Let, let people no rights for women. If they want, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm a traditionalist. <laughs> you know, asshole, wow. I like my shit with Tide. <laughs> hey, okay. Let's speaking about traditionalists. For what's breeze, wrong scent, with, with being a man that doesn't want his wife to bust her ass? Que le quiere dar todo su mujer. No. Si se puede. Si se puede. Si no I... se puede, okay. <laughs> My wife works because I can't su support the family how I would want to be supported, you know. But if I had the money, she ain't working. Yeah. Why? She's not working. I think there's two. Then that just goes back in a way to the woman and what she wants. Yes. You know, some women want to, you know, want I want to have a career. I want to, you know, boom. I want to fucking have this title. I want to <coughs> make this money. Some girls want that, you know. Because I give props to my dad. My dad never let my mom work a day in her life. And my dad's not a machista. Right now, my dad's retired. My dad helps my mom clean, wash the dishes, sweep, and do all of that. So he was not never a machista. He yeah. was just traditional. Yeah. He's like, you take care of the kids, I'm I bring the bread home. home the bread. Yep. And I don't think, why is that wrong? <laughs> it's not. It's not. Now, if I need help from my wife to work, okay. Well, yeah. I, I kind of feel less of a man. I wish she didn't have to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's what you saw. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I grew up different. I, I saw my mom working every day, you know? Yeah. Fucking long, crazy fucking hours to support the family. And I saw, you know, my pops left when I was 12, 13, you know? <laughs> because him and my mom, you know, well, they, they were, but you know, they was, split up. Was your dad still in the picture afterwards? I mean, he was there, but I wouldn't say he was in the picture. <laughs> he was there. He was my dad. You know, I would still see him here and there, but, you know. But your mom had to work because. Yeah. So so my dad left, and he wasn't there, and my mom was always working, so I never saw my mom. But see, they you know, uh, all I saw was my mom <laughs> working, which should have changed me in a different way. Like, oh, fuck, I got to get on it. But instead, what gave us most mas libertad to go be a badass. I mean, I was out there, you know, I started smoking weed fucking early as fuck, 13 years old, drinking at maybe 14, 15, you know. Lost your virginity at 11. I lost my virginity like at, I think, 14 or 15, some shit like that, yeah. So, so, maybe I was a little bit older. That might be all. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, but. I mean, I like it's that. it's it's different way. You know, you saw something different. You know, yeah. you saw your dad going to work. But, but you see, and yeah. I saw my dad. Well, yeah, my dad worked, but then again, he was addicted to gambling, and you know, you see alcohol, what I'm, you see what I'm saying. You know, maybe whatever. You know, so yeah, 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 yeah. 
But so, see, there's, there's, there's a certain situation, you know, a specific yeah. situation. I mean, that, I think, I think I, that I, happens. In general, maybe I was No, talking. I think, you know, there's a lot of different situations in everybody. You know, I, I wouldn't say that. Well, what's the s- statistic for I amount of marriages that are making but, it but, and amount but, of marriages but, that but ain't making I, it, I, you know? I don't what, know. What, what, I, what I'm what trying I'm to say is that it's not wrong that your mom worked. Yeah. It's not wrong they were no. both working. Yeah. I'm just saying that if I could... Yeah, well, my I'm, what I I'm saying is my dad wasn't there financially for us at all, you know. <coughs> my mom, so took, she had to. She held her. down. She had no everything. choice. Yeah. Yes. Props you know? to your mom. Yeah. Props yeah. to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she was able to yeah, fucking retire, yeah. you know, a few years ago, and and. and but you, know, you would have rather it. your dad had been there. Had financially taken care of shit, I, I w- and your mom not. I would have rather have grown up in a household that was together uh. for sure, because I know that being in a broken household made me, you know, probably make a lot of choices that I shouldn't have made, <laughs> you know, and been a different person. Like wait, I think about it now. I liked school. I liked school. I I, I thought I was really good at it. You know, obviously all the teachers tell you. You know, oh man, you're really smart. You know, oh, you're really great. you know. <laughs> I really think that I'm I'm somewhat, you know, that's good. knowledgeable. Mm-hmm. But you so, like to party then. But I like to party, you know. I'm knowledgeable, but and and I, one. you know, it's crazy because I grew up. Like I was talking to, we talked about this after the last part. Like, I grew up with. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> I was always in the rancho. You know, my family in the rancho, they were, you know. Fucking narcos, you grew you up know? over. There. You were born over there. I was born here, way. Oh. But uh, every summer, <laughs> yeah, the three months way of yeah. summer vacation, I was there, way. So I learned like all that life. Like I remember Las when I was really. Coca? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Pero as, as Coca Cola, no, 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 as older bolsitas with Coca <laughs> still, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But you Durango guys, eh? that's that's the thing. It's way. a Durango <laughs> thing, way. Yeah, it just well, you didn't drink a pop out of a bolsa once. Wait, just to think, way that. Out there, oh. it's still people El polvito frown blanco. upon fucking weed, but everybody's coked out of their mind, you know? Jeez. That's, that's, that's un compa. But look, that's what I'm saying. I grew up thinking a very fucked up way. Wait, I saw all my life growing up, I saw cos- saw cousins that were not way and had money way and had nice cars and had this and had that. So we fucking idolized that shit way. Yes. Idolized that shit growing up. My literally way... I don't think till I was about, fuck, how old was I in 2007? 17, so probably still a few years after that. Cause my, my cousin got killed when I was, yeah, when I was 17. My first cousin got killed. And, um, and then after that, the other two brothers also were murdered and fucking another uncle también killed. That they were all fucking, you know, they were all narcos out there, bro. And all my life I grew up thinking... I, I'm just waiting to the age when my cousins are gonna put me on, and that's what I'm gonna do with my life. What they're doing because that's what the fuck we idolize. That's how I felt at know? one point. And really? then, and yes. then you and guys are fucking losers. And man. <laughs> the, well, I mean, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I'm that not. Way, you know. But as a child, though, as young, you know, yeah. fucking teenager. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah. No way. Well, that's what I'm fuck saying. That. You guys have been like. I want to go to college. Yeah. Man. Well, see, that's the thing. I was in a. I was. I'm not gonna say my mom never told us, "Hey, do good in school and shit." But she was always working, so she, you know, at the end of the day, it was hard for her to keep fucking on our ass. So, like, you know? if you guys would have gotten the fucking invite to join the fucking family business, yes, you were in. Yes. Yeah. Damn, that's fucking nuts, way. Yeah. Now, not until my cousin back started. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But if you would have asked me at my age yeah. now, no, no, but no. But I'm saying because back then, I seen the so look, I seen the aftermath already. Yeah. Oh, of course. Look, but at, back at, then you were all in. At that age, would have happened. At that yes. age, I had like started Jeez. working little jobs already. Blah blah blah. But not not until when my cousin started dying. You know, that's when I'm like, nah, pos. That's that not the life. Yeah. You know, that's like, not oh, the shit, life. No one told me that part. Yeah. You know. And then I've always worked way. I've always worked. But I've also, you know, fucking, well, yeah, we, I mean, at that point in my life, growing up young, seeing all that shit, we idolized it. Because I never saw we myself. We thought that that's all, 
that was the way. Going to college or you know? finishing, getting a career. I never saw myself like that. Like, that's crazy. Se me decía, like, como chingado lo hacer? Yeah. What am I going to do? For real? Damn. Yeah, and I think and that's that has ball, a lot. That, that's very ballsy, ballsy that too. That, and that's that like. That has a lot to do with, you know, what, yeah, what you see growing up, way. What you see fucking growing up, way. And then it's I don't want to get too specific because there's a lot of family members that don't want me to say no, stuff. Yeah. But. I grew up like that too, and yeah. you you see the money. Yeah, yeah. That's the you way. see the houses. Yeah. You see your little cousins like, damn, bro, you got all that yeah. shit. You got all these Nintendo games. Yeah. yeah. You got all these toys. That's you got crazy. a whole fucking closet full of toys. Yeah. I got my little box full yeah. of toys. Anything they wanted. Yeah. Well, these those primos of mine, well, they were technically their parents were my padrinos, so they were my god brothers way. So esos güeyes también a mí, güey, as kids, güey, well, they would hook all of us up, güey. All my brothers, all my cousins, güey. Like, get the fuck out of here so we can party money. Like, here's fucking 50 bucks. Go to the mall. Leave us alone, motherfuckers. Like, that type of shit, you know? <coughs> they were narcs here? Well, yeah, they were here and there. You know, we would mm -hmm. see them here. That's the thing, güey. All, all our life, our cousins back and forth. Like and boom, you know what boom, it is, boom. too, Carlos? Every time we saw them, güey, a different car. You're, you're, you're saying you know, que Durango different. thing? But in Durango, nunca ha habido like a big commerce of anything. Like, in Jalisco, ¿cuánto negocio no hay? En yeah. Michoacán, ¿cuánto negocio yeah, no hay? En Guanajuato. In the Sierra, en Durango, oh, there's fucking, mota in the fucking... In yeah, the Sierra, there, there ain't shit there. What, you know? And that's not... ¿Qué es menor? So look, wait. Y ni siquiera es no, invento yeah. de los de, Durang look, de Durango. And this is, this It's is, a fucking Mennonite this, cheese. Yeah. This is, de los, it's not Canadian, a Mexican recipe. They're Canadians, huh? Canadians huh? Canadians, they speak German. Yeah, some shit like that. They God speak German. Bro. So you guys can't attest for shit other than drugs. Yeah, the, growing up with La Neta. And then, yeah, when at that age, I'm like, oh shit, well, I gotta work. Well, growing up, you, you, you know? I didn't know nobody in my family that went to college and shit. Yeah. I went and got a degree or became a lawyer. Till now, one of my cousins is, is a doctor in, in Durango, a doctor. So that, that's what I was going to say. It's crazy way because, so look, that's my dad's side of the family way. And on my mom's side of the family, which is completely different, I, now that I'm older, I think about like, how the fuck did my mom fall in love with my dad? A and with that, like, totally com different way. My, my mom's side of the family was like, humilde de madre way, like, like nothing to do with that life way, you know? So I think at the end of the day, that's where I kind of, thankfully, I had that side of my family way that, like, always was like, hey, nigga, get your shit together. You know, get your shit together. What's but but I'm you? pretty What's sure, Michoacán, you? you have narcos también growing up, you know, in the little ranchos and shit. We didn't see, Gente pesada. We didn't yeah. see any in, the, in that ranch. Because in the it wasn't in your rancho. family. I say your family, yeah. you didn't have it for sure. No. Wait. No. We were, there was that close I had to it on me, both way. sides of my family. Yeah. Yeah. No, see, that's the thing, way that I had my mom's side of the family, it's like the complete opposite way, which is so crazy. And obviously, maybe that's why my- Hardcore my, Catholics. My, Are they hardcore Catholics? Yeah, yeah right? Say, yeah. Yep. I think that's yep. the yeah. other balance yep. to the- Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. for sure. Okay, narcos también hardcore Catholics, obviously, right? Si, yeah. Si, 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 si. Which is kind of ironic, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so- Oh, well, that's where I was going to go with that. I saw the other side of it, too, way, Osea. Even though that my dad's side of the family, but with my mom's side of the family, Osea, I fucking assembled away, a mano, you know, like shit like uh, that, way. You a know, me tocó con my grandpa with the arado and the pinche. It was shit like that, way. Like, I remember all that shit clearly. I live that life so as well, so, I mean, at the end of the day, now that I'm older, I'm like, pues, no, way. Let's get chingar, way. If you're going to be, you know, yeah, I didn't go to school. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. You got to work, nigga. You know, yeah. so I work up. Yeah, but that, that came out of my system quick. Yeah. Construction uh, job. You yeah, know? that's crazy. That is, you know, I have uh, the other side of my family who I have cousins who are fucking programmers. It's still tempting, though. Programmers and fucking work at home on their computer all fucking day. And it's a lot of money. You know, huh? Well, it's a lot of money. For sure, way. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, all those people, look, they were and, there. And, and, and it's we, fast we, money. We, yeah. And now they're all gone. Wait. And the thing, it's yeah. all easy until you get caught. Yeah. Well, shit, I, I saw somebody shared some. 
I don't remember who shared it on Facebook, but it was like a Cicero guy right here who he got caught with like, he had like two kilos of meth. He was getting life in prison anyway. They give people life in prison for fucking meth. Crystal meth, right? It kills people, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Ought to be out here flossing. Yeah, after yeah. I heard, <laughs> oh, <laughs> your, oh no. your relative is getting three life sentences in jail. I'm like, I'm straight. That ain't shit for me. I'm gone. Yeah, you and really I, have to be careful how you shower in, in prison. <laughs> <laughs> in that case. Oh, yeah. I gonna, see uh, I'm going to do gonna keep what you out with more than a finger. What, 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 did <laughs> that, what did that comedian say? Who was it? Eddie Griffith? He like, if I ever go to jail, I ain't wiping my ass if motherfuckers yeah, want to rape me. I'm going to leave the caca on there. Oh, my you, God. You really want to fuck me, motherfucker? <laughs> I got caquita right there. But there, there's like a movie. I, think, I ain't going down like they, that. They, caquita brown. He's full of shit. <laughs> What's that from? There's a movie where the guy literally shit on himself and he's all covered oh. in his own shit. You know, trick. Para que nadie se la rime. I forgot what that, what that is. But. Nah, ni madres. I mean, that's fucking. <laughs> that's some crazy shit. <laughs> lube. Prison is otro pedo también. the lube. That's where the <laughs> that's where the whole fucking drug dealing thing. Well, look, it's tough. I got I got a cousin right now. I got a cousin boys, right now. Your boys. I got a cousin right now who's locked up. Shout out, shout out, my cuz. You know who you are, motherfucker. Um, and Osea, this motherfucker's been caught three times. Hey, you know. What in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not I hope you hold it down know, uh, keep your fucking head up and your fucking ass cheeks closed sheesh um, <laughs> but wait you know like I'm wondering right now he's gonna do like I think he's gonna serve like three years or something so you know I wanna mm. see county or what at where, where you're at after after three years you know was it enough to change you or are you gonna come out and feel like I think three hey, years is, is not is, enough this is my life and I'm going to keep trying. I think three years know? is not enough. Hmm. I have relatives that done five, that done three. I see. Yeah. They come back All and right. do the same. And then that motherfucker's fucked up way. He's, well, my dad's side of the family, then his mom's side of the family. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you. Shit. I'll tell Rasa you this much. This I had pedal. a relative that did 28 years. When he came out, he was still thinking about it. Yeah. Because he came out to nothing. To nothing, yep. Nothing. He didn't know how to do anything. I got a cousin who just got got out of jail. Did like uh, like twenty two, twenty four years. Shout That's out. That's crazy, you know. Cousin Luis. Damn. If you watch. That's crazy. Yeah. He did. It wasn't drug related, but oh. he he did some other. And she got locked up for I guess some months. And time. a lot of dudes. Pero pues, I mean, my cousin, I haven't seen him yet because um, he can't. We can't visit yet, but I say. Uh, he seems, you know, like a changed man. He's, well, a lot he's, of people you know, so actually get a degree. When you know, so um, he seems really happy. He seems really positive. So <laughs> let my little my cubs. I hope you know. Yeah. He went to jail really young, way like 15 years old. So yeah, right I can't do his, jail. Yeah, <laughs> that's mm, tough. Yeah, yeah. you're snitching for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ya saben. <laughs> nah, that's another here. thing. That's another thing why I wouldn't do it. Because I ain't going to snitch. But I don't want to go to jail, so. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to snitch. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I won't, I won't do it. Josh. I won't do it. You won't snitch? No, I won't work in that because I oh, don't want to Oh, you put yourself in that situation. I'm not going to put yeah. Yes. Dijo yes. Josh. No, yeah. pero si. No, I, I wouldn't <laughs> snitch. I would take whatever years yeah. I'm getting. I think it's fucking also cool. Random, when you're talking to one of your boys, he's like, "Oh, see, that's que ahorita está en la escuelita." Yeah, I know what to say, but I was talking. Ahorita está de viaje. Está de vacaciones. Está de vacaciones. Al rato regresa. That's fucking funny to me, bro. Like, just tell me, bro. It's cool. Tell me he's locked up. Like, ¿dónde fue? ¿Qué pedo? Uno está bien pendejo. Uno está. Where do you go for a vacation, bro? What? You know what's funny to me? That's like a Cancun or what? When when motherfuckers wanna leave a review. Want to talk in, I see in code, you know, like motherfuckers, these motherfuckers are trained. They know every slang. What do you mean? What do you mean? L Los narcos, if they're listening to your call, yeah. they know all the slang. Like they have Mexican narcs. Para entender todo. Or, or like, hey, blah, blah, blah. like I heard dudes, 
hey, vato, ah, quiero que me vendas un Kobe Bryant. <risa> <risa> Del size 8. Oh, <risa> dale. The old jersey. Yes. It was, um, yeah, because Kobe Bryant was 24 at the end, right? Yeah, he was 24. Eight first he was 8 first. Yeah. Is that, is that? That's one? a new one. You didn't yeah. know that one. <laughs> man, hey, did get, you know that one? Let me get what? that. Let me Kobe get that Bryant old school. I just said Kobe. it right now. No, I'm saying before you. Yeah. You heard that though. See? You said. Let me get that old school Kobe Bryant. Jersey. Oh, you know what a cebolla <laughs> is, right? You know what a cebolla is, right? Yeah. Quiero una cebolla. Yeah. You know that one, right? No. Esa por la mota, güey. Las motas. Pinche cebolla. Cebolla. Yeah. Es una, es una onza. Damn. Compa, I did not know that one. pilas a la verga. Es que my compa shops at dispensary. Un tostón. Can I get 28 grams of? <laughs> I'm gonna sound like not street smart at all. Quiero un tostón. But is that like a uh, like a coke thing or what? Yeah. A well, tostón. I don't know. Tostón es un cincuenta. Okay. Pero ya no venden cincuentas. Puro cien para arriba. Oh. There. That's like. There's like I think that's like a thing in Chicago. No more Starbucks right? in the weed game, right? So, yeah. No more dubs. <laughs> yeah. The EC, yeah, no. EC, nobody sells grams fin. no more. Nobody sells grams. No. So nobody does 50 bags. Is that I what you're saying? I think they don't. What's 100 per arriba? What's 100? Is that like uh, that an 8 bar? I, think, I, don't even I know think a gram was going for 100 bucks. That's a 8? One. No, a gram. No, a 8 son 2, entonces. 3.5 grams. Míralo. <laughs> sí, pues sí, pues yo estoy bien la perdido bota, la verga. La bota, la bota. I know because of weed, you know, but yeah. it's the same thing. An eighth of weed and or, an or eighth or I know also they, they, they will say weighs the same amount. Deme, deme una esquina. Del cuadro, ¿qué pasa? Una esquina <laughs> viene siendo como nueve onzas, ¿no? A fourth, yeah. yeah. Una esquina, nueve onzas. O deme un zapatito del size ocho. Pinche <laughs> no, <laughs> 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 You seen those new uh, <laughs> That's a new song. Did you see the new logo though? No. Uh, when I went to Mexico in July, I seen all these little motherfuckers wearing these hats that says cha. And then they had a the piece pizza. of pizza. Oh, yeah. 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 I, the, I, my first time seeing it when I was over there. I never seen it before. Like Shout out to Julio there. from Toxies. I seen it at him. Chapisa? Yeah. I like El compa Julio got, de Toxies? He got the... Oh, he got a well, por allá, no? And that sombrero with the sock sign and yeah. the little hand on it. No, he's still down. Shout out. Um, <laughs> what is the MF part? Damn, I'm going to fuck it up because I'm really high. Something like that. Nartoon, some shit like that. Fuck. My bad, compa, for fucking it up. Look him up. Uh, compa Julio from Los Toxies. Got some pretty cool shit going on. A lot of merch and stuff. Oh, so he's the one really doing that right show thing. He's designing, that. He's, he's designing it. He's designing it. Yeah. He's like the... Yeah, wait. He's he somebody like actually he's doing, the yeah. he's doing the art? He's yeah. drawing He's doing the art. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's got all that. But I seen his that hat at the Georgie diaper and beer party. He was wearing it. Oh, yeah. Think. You're right. You're right. You guys, but like he has like the he uses like the almost like the cub look and see for that one. The what? He oh yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Cub, you, the cubs. What do you guys think about Carlos Quintero going back to jail? That's fucked up. Let the man live. Even though I'm sure, I mean, he's old as this fuck. This guy, he's old as fuck. Why? Why did he go back to jail? <coughs> Is he still I doing have it? no idea. Supposedly, lo quieren extraditar para acá, pero. Porque ahí dijeron que no lo van a. ¿Verdad que no? So, like, how, how can he go back to jail for the same crime twice? Yeah. Because yeah. he killed the agent. Yo but no he was already in jail for that. Camarena. He found, they found no Lupo. Mató, Dice el corrido, lo que diga el Did you see corrido, that documentary of that, uh, that um, FBI guy or DEA guy? The, the Camarena one? The Narcos? Hispanic guy. Narc, the last narc? The last narc. You seen yeah. him, right? Hell yeah. He was the CIA, though. That's what he says. He was he his partner. He, Who was CIA? The CIA killed Kiki Camarena. Oh, there was supposed to be a second part to that fucking last snark. And huh? Because he, he dug up something big on the he CIA. He found out that they were in bed with the narcos, uh, with the cocaine. Yep. They were giving the narcos cocaine, and they were getting weapons. I think. Yep. 
He found he yeah. found out about and all Kiki shit. found yeah. that out. About all that and they were trying to the say CIA. that he found the the plantillo de, de Mota de Caro Quintero, yeah. but he wasn't even there. There's an officer that says Kiki Camarena wasn't even here when we captured all the weed. So they, the CIA didn't want, so Camarena was, a, yeah. The scapegoat. They, they, they didn't want him to, um, to find out yeah, what I'm the sure. they were doing. Yeah, I'm sure. The fucking CIA is behind He the, found, the Kiki Camarena found out about bro. the cocaine. He didn't find out about the weed. They didn't care about the weed. Yeah. He found out about the CIA being in bed with, with the uh, Cartel de Guadalajara back then. The last snark. Yes. Check it out. Yes, that's a great documentary. I seen it. I think is that on, on a Hulu or something or Amazon uh, Prime or something. I just seen it the other day. I saw yeah. it again. I saw it twice. Pornhub. That's a great fucking. It is great, yeah. and that dude tells straight up, straight up everything. And you know what? There's an interview, <laughs> the interview <laughs> prior to the series, where he's talking about his book because he made a book first. Yeah, I th- I think I seen all that shit. Yeah, it's been a while. That's a good one to go back yeah. and watch. So. And I, do, I was just telling myself today that I'm going to go back and start watching Narcos Mexico again. <laughs> I need something to watch. And technically, supposedly, they didn't want to kill him. Pero que se les pasó la mano. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what they show again. in Narcos. Al, the guys that were torturing Kiki. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's... And you know what? The the 100% details, we're never going to know. No, nobody is. But I, I strongly believe it was the CIA, bro. The government's behind a lot of fucked yes. up shit, dog. And, and I think they want to sh- shut up Caro Quintero because Caro Quintero, you remember when they did an interview when he first came out? The lady interviewed yeah. him, that the lady didn't come out in the interview. Yeah. He was like in a little rancho, in a little yeah, room. Yeah. He said que la verdad va a salir más adelante. He did say some de shit. De lo que le pasó a Kiki Camarena. Yeah. And I think... Hey, was it true that when they, they just captured him, the the... the Right after, did the f- fucking plane fall with the with that the was marina? Lie, that no? guy, that was, was that a lie? Because he was supposed to be in there, or they were saying that he was in there, and then they were saying that he wasn't. I don't know if that was. True well, somebody's trying to shut him up. Cause I heard that they he wanted to get money through a, a series, through a movie, or through a book, or some 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 sort of shit. Well, like también, that. también Mexico so grimy that maybe that. You know, Mexico, like, look, either they're going to pick you up or we'll pick you up and we'll keep you. You're going to be in jail still, but you're going to be at least in our Mexican jail. Hey, what about jail. that, that other narc? Um, you're, you're right on that, by the way. Right? No. Yeah. That's a great point. It's like, it's hey, kind of like... Like, hey, we still, have all your, we still have all your money or you guys came out and you got all this money. If you give us all this money, we'll keep you insta- instead of them going, taking you out there and... It's kind of like the Escobar yeah. when he got in prison in his own ranch and yeah. shit. Big ass mm, fucking yeah. mansion. <laughs> Bitches every day. Yeah. Partying. Well, well, there, that's, there's, that's there's badass. You know, the, the, a lot of the fucking, a lot of the uh, Barajas fucking yeah. uh, podcast, motherfuckers have said how they've gone to the penal to fucking play, you know, like, well, what the fuck is that happening? The, in, well, I guess no, oh. Johnny Cash played. Where did Johnny Cash play? He played at that fucking... That's the, but that was for everybody. Motherfucker oh, yeah, having yeah, private yeah. parties and yeah. shit, you know? <coughs> but that was here in the United States, that right? Was like, yeah. Didn't Los Tigres do that, too? So Los Tigres, Tigres did that, yeah. too. That same, it's in Cali or San Bernardino? San Bernardino? Some bullshit like that. I don't know. It was the Alcatraz? Or no. Qu- Qu- San Quintin. San, Qu- San Quintin. Oh, San Quintin. San Quintin. San Quintin. <laughs> San Quintin. <laughs> well, yeah. I recommend you an interview bro. about this guy. I think his name's Camilo. Camilo Sexto? No. What's his name? It, it, it just came out not so long ago. ¿Cómo se llama la reportera esa que hace entrevistas? Um, que ya está viejilla, una flaquilla, <laughs> en México. Uh, I, let me check my phone. I'll tell you right now. I have the interview. I recommend if you haven't seen it. He talks about all that shit they did in jail. And how... Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I have it right here. Yeah, the name of the guy. And I recommend you Check watch this interview. No, 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 no. 
Camilo, se llama Camilo. No, I'm good, bro. Uh, tengo tics nomás. Check out Camilo. I recommend you, you, you guys watch that interview. Um, Checo Camilo? Check him out. Oh. Camilo, uh, the first guy that interviewed him is this YouTuber or blogger, whatever. Uh, what's his name? Vlad TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Mexico, though. Fuck. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. Fucking Android, he, he, bro. <laughs> he, he, he was from the cartel de, de Sinaloa. And he, um, ¿cómo se llama el, el ese? Shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to look stupid, but. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just put it up later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Well, you guys want to know, put it in the comments. Yeah. Es Camilo, <laughs> es, a, es a bad guy de Sinaloa that um, he was locked up. And he got betrayed by el licenciado. ¿Cómo se llama el que trabajaba con Chapo? El Mini Leak. El, el, el otro, ¿cómo, what was his name? Mini Leak, right? What, what was his name? Uh, he was the son of el licenciado. Pues el licenciado. Yeah. Was the one that was in charge when Chapo was locked up the first time. and yeah. Or this last time. Yeah. yeah exactly. He betrayed this guy. And this guy talks a lot, gives a lot of information. A lot of he details. Who? That guy? That the guy, good. Camilo. Okay. Because he kind of technically betrayed El Chapo too. They yes, were, he did they betray El Chapo. They, they That's why born. this guy Camilo. Minilis and and y los Chapitos they were at one time. Uh, but it started with his dad though. Yeah. Because what, what happened, happened to those guys? Huh? What happened to the they licenciado probably, guys? They they're gone. Yeah, I think they're gone. I think one Damn. in jail. Yeah. One. They're gone. Oh, ese vato explica todo eso. No explica todo eso que él se zafó because he was already planning on betraying Chapo. Yeah. And it's a good story. I think you'll like it because he came from a rich family and he chose to be uh, a mafioso. Well, you know what? That's what I was thinking about. That's why I started thinking about narcos because I was thinking about what happened with like El Güero Palma do how they fucking took his family and Sounds threw it crazy. off the fucking bridge and Savage. recorded the whole thing. Didn't like, they chop their heads off? Oh, that was just that was throat. just for the series. I think they you know how they exaggerate the, shit? I think they slit the, the, the chick's throat. Yeah. And that's Something like that. Over. Oh boy. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. I want to look that that up to see if the actual video is up. Now you think so? I don't well, think they that. Put, almost put clips of it, wasn't it? Like in Narcos? In Narcos? Or nah, I don't think they. I don't think they can do that. I don't know. That was a true story, then, huh? That's a true story. Yeah. That they killed them. Yeah. yeah. How they killed them there. Yeah. No, you you, you, you don't think some uh, you don't think a narco uh, funded narcos? I think they had to have some sort of fucking permission to oh, put sad. all that information out yeah. there, <laughs> right? Hell yeah. yeah, because some of it is accurate, not all of it, right? Yeah, a lot of it is puro. Well, who it's, who it's really close, and that's why I think it's such a great. See, series. but that's the so thing. Who how, that? how are we gonna know how close it is, though? Yeah, we just think I it's close. Just, so they make it look say, like real as to, fuck. So what people say, I guess, to the stories. But you know what? You know why I, I do believe a lot of it is kind of true? Listen to the whole album of the Tigres del Norte, Corridos Prohibidos. And There's the, like three corridos in there that talk about a lot of shit that went down okay, so in I, Narcos. And we're talking about 1993 look, when that fucking album came out. That's why, that's why I say that. That it's very accurate. It's because kinda, of the corridos, yeah. it matches up like. But then again, what if they based because you know these people listen to corridos well, like you said, to wait. that extent yeah, to make yeah. their series. Yeah, well, I know they go and they they scout the place. Yeah. They have to find people with that were alive in that time and ask them these fucking questions to come up with these fucking stories. You yeah. know, that's because yeah. one. That's what happened in our <coughs> culture. That's why they weren't gonna do the last season because. Because somebody, one of the fucking like scouters or whatever, got killed. Probably asked too many questions or something. Oh, that's they why they killed. stopped narcos. I think that's what had happened. They delayed it. They delayed it, yeah. right? Because of that. But it shit. wasn't like a big time guy. He was a a guy that lived in Max, right? I don't know. And he was he was a guy that was like I uh, could be wrong. He would go and ask the. I'm surprised the town I don't know this. 
Yeah, they were, it was a little bit of story. Era como un... I forgot what they titled that motherfucker. He would just go out to the regions and start fucking yeah. asking if it's of cool course. and shit like that. But um, that one had to be funded by El Señor de los Cielos because he's the guy that at the end... You think, just you think he's still alive? Like, it ended with the fucking plane, right, on the piano? Do you guys remember that or yeah. no? So at the end, like, he's the winner. Like, yeah. And you know why I think he's still alive? You know how he was fucking uh, fucking around in different countries? Yeah. Like, l- already trying to look into where he was going to live? And that guy was smart, and he got rich super fast. He wasn't the richest narc, but he's one of the narcs that got rich the fastest. The fastest, and they say that he planned his death, para que ya no lo buscaran, y se fue a vivir tranquilo no sé en dónde. A totally different, I, I forgot, it wasn't, it wasn't, porque en, en, en el series he went to Cuba, ¿no? Yeah. Pero I think it was a different país where they say he, he fell in love with. With the Cuban, Cuban girl. The Cuban girl. The yeah, girl. I think he went somewhere else, but, well, that's yeah. the hearsay. No, I mean, that to me sounds more realistic than him fucking dying on a fucking <laughs> surgery. Surgery. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. But see that again, it's, I hate to make a comparison. It's kind of like the Bible, right? Like somebody, oh, so I like yeah, the way you say it. That way? It's kind of like how you <laughs> say it. It's kind of like, like how you say it, bro. I like that. You say like, oh, well, we assume we know because of the stories that we hear. Yeah. It's the same shit, right? In the Bible, like, oh, man, but you think somebody was yeah. chilling? Like, you think they're really going to believe that the fucking ocean parted? And you're like, fuck yeah, we saw it. My fucking cousin's friend was there. <laughs> Why would they not fucking believe it? It's the same thing like right now. Eh? That's the crazy part to all this see, shit. See, the, thing, the bad thing is that I can't argue. Yeah. How am I going to argue that? You can't. That's it's, it's, very, it's very, very... It's just stories yeah. upon stories. Hey, I, like w- that. I like what we just did there, man. There's a Bill Maher documentary yes. where it's about <laughs> against religion, the whole documentary. Watch it. I don't ah, know. but I'm not against religion. <laughs> yes, you are. You're no, an atheist. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank You're you. an atheist. Thank you. No, but but he, he brings up good points. Where me as a Catholic, I'm like, damn, you motherfucker. What, what the fuck can I argue? Yeah. He has a very fucking good point. He fucks with all the religions in that documentary. I'm going to try to look it up to tell you which one it is. Let me know what it it's is. It's recent. It's recent. The Bill Maher. El de HBO, ¿verdad? Right? Sí. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I like Bill Maher. Yeah. Let me know what it is. Yeah, I just I just saw right now. It, it came out on HBO. Because, see, we're going off of the fucking cartel life off of TV fucking shows. Yeah. Exactly. That's our education. But, but like, and but stories. Made, made a really good point, Way In 1993, these motherfuckers making these corridos, it's probably the same shit as now. They had to have gotten permission. They weren't just making corridos. Well, here's, oh. here's the other ancient rule. The winners write the history, right? Mm-hmm. So in the end, like, who's paying the, the guy that's writing? Hazme un corrido, güey. Y quiero que diga que moví 100 kilos. No, and, uh, hey, no it's disrespect. True, true. You guys do your business, right? As him like saying it. it. Yeah, but w- w- what I'm saying is at the end of the day, it's, uh, you know, you get to write your own story if you really want well, to. That, I was about to talk about how the la- in the last kingdom, you know, the, the king has, yeah, that's right, that's right, got writing it everything down. Yeah. Everything, bro. And you what know, he doesn't want in there. And yeah, and he takes out yeah, fucking right. dude from the story, right? The yep. dude, this dude was never. Uh, this guy uh, won three Uthred, words for us. Uthred. Lord Uhtred. Of Bebenberg. <laughs> and, and you know what? It's cool. Uh, it's Lord, cool too. I, I mean, like, I agree with you, the guy is 100%, but I think it's cool to follow something. Watch that. I agree. Because w- that? if there wasn't kid? any religion, yeah. do you guys believe that die should not kill what existed? What if we all, no religion, no no type of religion, and we all just would have been caveman, I like your no, bitch, I like your girl, I'm going to go kill you it, and keep your girl. It needed to be that And it's way, okay. Way. It needed to, in that show, watch The Last Kingdom way. Or say, the king was like, they were they were all Christians, right? The, the, yeah. the They were fighting the Scots and all those motherfuckers who were, they called them fucking, I don't know if they were just heathen. Yeah, they were just heathens, you know. But, you know, they had to push the religion for, for shit to change. And the other motherfuckers had no religion, so they were killing and 
raping Rape everything in their past. That's, that's what know? I'm saying. That's why I kind of so like, there needed to be that. You know, to change, agree with religion. To you know, I guess yeah, yeah I guess you're right. But then again, it gets it gets out of shit, hand yeah, and carried away. Hand, you know, and, yeah. and there's always people that are gonna take advantage of a power because re- unfortunately. Every religion is, is a fucking business. It is? It's just people who. who puro negocio, puro billete. Well, I'm not against religion, though. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no. He laughs at you so I've hard. Always, He's I've like, yeah, right. I agree with you, güey. O sea, pues es que cada, cada persona. Tiene su pinche. Cada persona needs a certain guideline. Yeah. You know, I think when we went to the compas and filter, shout out to my guys out there, it kind of got religious talk, and I just said the same thing, like, I can't bash anybody. I just like to talk about it. <laughs> and even if you're hardcore, I'll, I'll throw a little jab, and, but that's it. Like, I'm not going to fucking bash you. Like, everyone needs a fucking yeah. guideline, way. You do les, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we. Alguien, yeah. todos necesitan algo de, de que agarrarse, we. Yeah. You know? That's a good way to put it. Yeah, I think everybody so. Everybody needs a guideline. Because and that's what Bill it is. Maher makes good points on that show. He talks about how, like, it's the same damn book just rewritten in a different company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of the shit, like it's the same it's story. Similar. Yeah. Same story, wow. same. And it makes you doubt. You're like, what the fuck? I think each. Uh, same I, story, different company. Yeah. 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 I like that. Yeah, wow. yeah. It's crazy. Different yeah, names. That's why I like what you say. The, flood, the floods in every fucking company. And he's just basing it on what they say. Yeah. Not him just criticizing, you know, like, oh, I don't believe, no. He's just basing it, okay, your book says this, and this book says that. Well, here's the other thing, like the whole, the flood being, and I think, I think uh, mostly every religion has a flood story. That could, you know, being, it, it can be a, a story, right? It can, a true story that did happen way back when. Everywhere. But for them, it was like the end of the world. Yeah. Un diluvio, yeah. Sí, güey, o sea. And then everyone just adds you know, this guy had fucking two giraffes and two of everything. And, <laughs> you know, the other guy took ten wives with him and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero it did happen, though, in their own fucking world. In their own way. In yeah, their own it fucking way. happened. Yeah. 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 Fuck. Well, I mean, it is what it is. And then it, it's always been monkey see, monkey, monkey do. Yeah. You start selling popcorn, then this motherfucker next black yeah. wants to sell popcorn. Yeah. So once this religion starts... Doing this. this motherfucker like, okay, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to twist it I'm like this. Step it up and it's tax-free. Yes. No fucking taxes. <laughs> Let's Dude, make a religion. I, I heard that if you start your own religion. You get money, no? You get tax fucking free. Don't you get like a money or something? Like I, hasta un préstamo del banco or something you, like that? I, I'm not sure, bro. Yeah. Pero. And, Why would you teach a church? And go by? a satanic religion Next is, door? is, um, ¿cómo se dice? Top paid. No, no, no. <laughs> it's accepted as a as a you if Not you make taxable? it yeah. In the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> in the Brazilian church there's two fucking churches in Brazil that in order to be part of the congregation you have to do ayahuasca. I think you're going to say you got to beg the priest. No. <laughs> no. Uh, that's a different religion. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, fucking ayahuasca. You got to get high. Loosen it. Let the fucking mind be open. But sure. You can start yeah, I heard of that, that stuff cures a lot of things, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, Aaron, Is that what this guy, the accordion player, the Vanguardia was talking about? He did the toad. That's that's what I heard. Yeah. Cure, cures a lot of things. Aaron Rodgers. You guys know that guy? Yeah, that he yeah, just, he I just, hate him, but yeah. He just talked about doing ayahuasca, and he had the best season of his career or some shit. When? Last season or two seasons? He still ago, fucking man? lost? Yeah, he did lose. <laughs> 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 Not good enough. Yeah. Fuck that guy. He's a packer. Yeah, that's true. Fuck man. you, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Hopefully you're watching this. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> if you are watching it, and stop by and defend yourself for yes. one. <laughs> nah, these guys got my back. <laughs> I know. Uh, slide through, G. <laughs> you're, a, you're a Sox or Cubs fan? I don't follow baseball. So you're strictly but, bulls and but, bears. But I, I to look at I lived in the north side and now I live in the south side. And I'm a south sider, bro. Mm. All right. I like the south That's side better. I like That's the south side better. I, I, I you know what I hate? People that go for a team and they don't know shit about the motherfucking team. That's that I don't respect. 
If you're a Cubs fan, good for you. But if you're just a Cubs fan just because you put on the hat and go to the game and get fucked up, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> you I don't no, I don't follow as much anymore. But like, do you but get mad? Like, are you like a crazy no, Sox? Are you a no, Cubs fan? No, no. You're a Cubs fan? No. I'm Sox not a fan? Cubs fan. I'm a Sox fan. But do you hate the Cubs? I mean, it's when yes. I think it's part of the yeah, part of the like You're a true Sox fan, but you know your Cubs team. Cubs fans, Cubs fans feel the same way. Like well, you know, Cubs fans fuck the Sox. You know? Well, yeah, but so if you're a true fan, argument. yes. Yeah, there's nowadays that argument. Look, buddy, buddy. I'm a Sox fan. Wait, I'll tell you this: I'm a Sox fan because when I was growing up as a kid, first game I ever went to was a Sox game. My dad was a Sox fan. My dad does watch baseball. My dad sits in baseball season. My dad sits in front of the fucking TV all fucking day and catches. No matter who's he's playing, fan. he's watching it. You know, but he's a Sox fan. Well, he was, and then he moved to Kansas City, and then he was a Kansas City fan because they were really good. And then one time he See, told me what I don't respect Cubs, is so. like I had He's conversation, just a fan, but like with a guy. That's that why I'm a Sox fan. Chicago, game I Chicago ever guy. Through. He's a Packer fan. Yeah. Like, why the fuck are you a Packer that I don't fan? Get. He like, cause I'm I go for winning what? teams. Like, well, then you're not a true fan, yeah. motherfucker. So that means as soon as the Packers start losing, you're not you're gonna out. be a Packer fan no more. LJ. Shout out my boy. Oh, he's a Packer a, fan? Is he? No, no. He's, no, he's a, a Tom Brady fan. fan. He's a Tom Brady fan. See, right? now that's different. And he was a Sox fan, and then he was a Cubs That's fan. different. Yeah. If you're a, a player fan, well, I respect that you follow him with the teams he goes with. Okay. You're cool with that? I'm cool with that. Okay. But if so if, like, okay, I see what you mean. So if, if you're an Aaron Rodgers fan, it's cool, but you can't be a Packers fan. Nah, fuck no, Aaron Rodgers. Is still <laughs> Packer. Well, I mean, I'm trying, yeah. but if you're a once fan, Aaron Rodgers leaves, well, with, to me, no, you just if he have, leaves you the just have something against the fucking Packers. Well, he they fuck us up all the time, bro. Because you're, you're a Bears fan, yeah. I would hate the Packers. You're an America fan? <laughs> no, I would. America? I am, but I don't care for them like that anymore. No, no. You hate Chivas fans? I don't care. Those guys yeah. are non-existent, bro. You hate Cubs fans? I, you know, I dislike but the it's Cubs. It's not a hate. A it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a sport thing, you know? Yeah. Friendly rivalry. You, I dislike you don't the hate Cubs nobody. Very much, yeah. I dislike the Cubs I'm a lot. Um, yeah, if it were up to me, if the Cubs didn't exist in Chicago, I'll be totally fine with it. Exactly. Yeah. So Fuck the Cubs. I, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> and Aaron Rodgers. So when it comes to baseball, <laughs> I, I can care less, you know? If a Chicago team, I'm like, fuck it, Chicago team won. But I just no, hate the fake-ass motherfuckers. Fuck LeBron James. Yeah, yeah. fuck LeBron yeah. James for sure. So for sure, your shit list is Aaron. Fuck Aaron and fuck LeBron, for sure. I don't hate Aaron Rodgers like I hate LeBron and anybody James. Anybody who calls himself yeah. that next. So let me say that. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> LeBron James. Who? Fuck LeBron James. That do I re- just just do I recognize that they're good? Hell yeah, they're good. They're good. Aaron Rodgers, the beast. One of the. And greats. so is LeBron James. But I don't like LeBron. But yeah, James, yeah, so. yeah. I would, you know, if I was a. Die hard Bears fan, which I'm not. To me, the Bears, they suck. So I'm just like, fuck the Bears, you know? Um, Don't say fuck the Bears. Wow. Man. Wow. The Arlington the Bears, Heights huh? Bears. That, that, they, they, you keep confirming that, right? right? It's confirmed. Yeah? You heard it I here think first. that's a good thing, though. I brought yeah. it up. Have you ever been to like a Bears game? It's a pain of the ass to get up in that motherfucker. I I've went to, to see it. the Bears in Minnesota. <coughs> Cold as fuck. Minnesota? Yeah, when, when... When they didn't have the stadium? When they didn't have the stadium. When they went to the University of Minnesota? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It was cold as fuck. <laughs> Did they win? We went out the night. I think they won. No, fuck no. They got their ass handed <laughs> to them. <laughs> hey, we went out the night before, and we got fucking hammered. We hammered. We showed up to the game. Más crudos que la verga, güey. And we're sitting like, I think we're 10th or 11th row. And fucking, it was 10 of us, maybe. So a good, nice group of fucking Bears fans, we all went and bought. I didn't have no bear shit. I went out and bought all bear shit. Yes. Y luego ahí está fucking gateway con una pinche crudota. Like, dude, the whole fucking game, and people are just around us talking shit. Ah, and you, you lose it. <laughs> yeah, that shit was. Now I said, See, I never go to Let, let me rephrase again. what I said. I hate the fans that are, like, if you're a Cubs fan, 
and you don't know shit about the Cubs, and you say fuck the White Sox. That's, but if you know me, like you, you went with a group of friends. Well, yeah, we gotta wear a fucking bear shit on. So, but I don't watch like, yeah, like right now fantasy. You do fantasy football? I don't. Yeah, cause I like, don't. I don't follow football that yeah. much. Like four for one shit. Everybody's fucking the fantasy <laughs> football, and everybody <laughs> loves watching football. I don't know who none of these motherfuckers are. You know, they ask me, hey, you want to join a <laughs> fantasy? <laughs> no, I don't know who none of these motherfuckers are. But you yeah, know I what? guess it's easy to look at the paper. Oh, this guy. But, but, you, but, but, you, but you know what? Motherfuckers. And they, then they get all mad and they're all arguing yes, over the And they think they like, know. Fuck you guys. Shut the fuck you, up. you know what I told a guy once? I'm like, <laughs> hey, bro, if you know so much, tell me who's going to win the Super Bowl so I can bet like a million dollars on them and shit and win it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, yeah. I was being sarcastic. Shit, yeah. I wish. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you know what I mean? Everybody wants to know, like, oh, I know a lot about sports. Nah, nigga, you just Shout know. out Full Realty slash Sportscaster sports for guy. the Bears. He, he He's a... He's an official, unofficial he's, spokesman. He's a, fa- <laughs> he's a fan fan, Yeah, he's you know? a fan fan. He is. He's like, he just thinks too much with his fan heart, not reality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I accept. We're gonna let you come out here and defend yourself too, G. Don't worry. I, I accept my team sucks. Yeah, yeah he doesn't. Yes. Yeah, he doesn't. He'll be like, no, we're no, mad. It's not that he doesn't. You know, that's but not the bad part. The bad part yeah. that every year they hype it up like something fucking changed. Yeah, you know. Oh my God, we got this motherfucker, and it's gonna change everything. And we're going to the fucking Super Bowl seven times in a row, like. Yeah. <laughs> You guys yeah. don't even make it there once, G. Not it's because like, when you, you have... You don't even make it into the playoffs, you know? Like, when you have a passion for a team, yeah, yeah, little things that. make you have hope. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. But... So I, 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 I the get bears, The Bears will start the season or the they preseason. 3-0? The preseason. They started 3-0. 3-0. Oh, okay, and that's it, right? It doesn't yeah, matter, right? Okay. And then they're going to go 0-7. Oh and, and then what are they going to say? We went 3-0. Yeah. <laughs> Before going 0 and 7. Nah, well, hopefully the Bears, you know, I would love for the sake of the city, you know, and just fucking good sports. Like, yeah, I would love for them to go to the Super Bowl. Proud Chicago one. Yeah, yeah Chicago, you know, mm. hey, fuck yeah. Me Chicago too. I, Bears, I, I, yeah. I don't like I don't like hockey. Bad Bad party. <laughs> I don't like hockey, but <laughs> when the black more that. Won, I'm like, hell yeah, fuck. More no that. black hawks. You know? right, it reminds the way you were explaining it, I hype it up, I hype it up. You, you're right. Every, Every year, year. I you, call, know, you know, you know what my name for the Bears this week? The Bad News Bears, because like, yeah, everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then puro pinche no. bad news, bad news, bad news for sixteen weeks straight. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of when I or, went to or, uh, they'll win two, and then oh yeah, we're back, we're back. If we win if the we next win. three. We're fucking going in as a bi. <laughs> Bisexual. <laughs> it, it sounds like you were quoting Fofo. Yeah. <laughs> When I was in fucking high school, I don't know, oh. you were in high school, and you guys remember pep rallies? Yes. Okay, and, and every fucking year for four years, <laughs> shout out Jen F. Kennedy. I just got the invite for my 25-year reunion. I'm not going. <laughs> You're um, a pussy. Go. No, I got shit to do. I got shit to do. Yeah, and, and it's at the luxurious Watra. Mm. So, the Watra. Yeah. It's having a little, little bar. Well, if, <laughs> if, if, if you do go. Yeah, I'll take you. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Give Make me my sure first one. You you clean your anus very good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> 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 and and at the fucking pep rally for four years where they fucking hyped up the football team way. They hyped, they hyped, they hyped, they hyped it. And they would fucking went undefeated four years, never won a game way. 0 and 10, 0 and 10, 0 and 10. But the day of the pep rally way, I said, pinche de madre. <laughs> They would fucking start. Well, cause they had a super team and shit. Uh, <laughs> we're fucking all state and all that <laughs> shit. No, my <laughs> verga. The worst. That's the same thing that you just kind of explained. The bears. The fucking bears. The uh, bears. Anyway, before we start keeping uh keeping going towards the end, what do you fucking uh can announce with uh what kind of year you have you you've been having with Dorado? It's been good, bro. Very busy. I think. I thought last year was the best year for Dorado, but because this it was year. right after they reopened all that COVID shit. Uh, but I think COVID is still affecting till 
to this year too. And I think this year, individually, we all made more money than we made last year. So thanks to all the people that que nos da trabajo. Es. And we have a big disadvantage yeah. because, yeah, El Durangans is coming back, but I think it's coming back for the bigger groups. Mm. Like, you know, they have that little tour going, whatever. But mm. for us, I think we're doing good, man. I like how you said that. I can't complain. Little tour. Little tour, yeah. yeah. It Dick. is little tour. I'm not in that bitch, so it's yes! a little ass tour. Yes! That's what I wanted to hear right there. Yes. Fuck yeah. But, you know, it's not... It, we'll do our own. <laughs> it's not up to me. I heard, I heard, I heard. Uh, Lamento announced that they're, they're coming. I've seen that. They put that up today, right? Yeah. That this is their last weekend. Yes. On the tour. They're coming. And i seen that he put that they're doing another Well, you tour. guys did a few gigs with Lamento, right? Um, well, thanks to Oscar. Oscar de la Canes, he took us with, uh, shout with out, Lamento. Shout out. Yeah, bro. Shout out to them. Yeah. They, they supported us since a long time ago. Hell yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Shout they're, out they're all, the, all the bros. Guys. I have nothing bad to say about um, them. They're badass guys. What's, uh, what change, all right, I shouldn't say change, but what's made you guys fucking want to drop so much music lately, way? We never did it when we were supposed to, bro. Hell yeah. We never did it when we were supposed to, and we're sticking to our old school music, and we want to keep that music alive. Fuck yeah. Because everybody else is, you know, they're going along. Kind of moving on. Uh, uh, so, yeah. like. Everybody has their style. Montes yeah. has their style. Yeah. Alacranes has their style. They take out their music. We take out the music that we fell in love with when they, everything started, yeah. which is Paraiso Tropical and Old, old School yeah. Lamento. So we keep that alive. A lot of people, like, why you play these songs? Why you do this? Well, because that's the shit we started with. Yeah. That's the stuff we want to keep alive. So, and you, so you feel if, if you guys... But, uh, Cause you say you're saying that you guys didn't do what you guys were supposed to, so you feel like if you guys would have done it before, we would be in a different position you guys right would now. In a different position. Yes, we have. Oh yeah. But it's never too late. Yeah, well, that's what I was kind of gonna say. Like, fuck it. Yeah. Now's the time, you know. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. E and like you said, you thought last year was the better, the best year, and this year's better. <laughs> I think coming out of this year, you guys are gonna have an even better year. Because all, all, all I because gotta say is you guys are releasing a lot of shit, bro. Yeah. Y, y la gente pues are listening. I'm sure we have something coming out in two weeks. I see. You guys fucking yeah. been having shit coming out every couple weeks, you know. Yeah. So this comes out when next week? Yeah, this will be out next week. So, so maybe by then it'll be like yeah. closer to one week. Well, if you wanna, announce, yeah. Have you guys announced it? What it is? Um. It's another single. It's another. We're st we're we just released a single that va a salir in the disco, yeah. and we're releasing a second single for the CD. And after that, the whole CD is gonna come out. Okay, which was what Negra uh, Negra Negra, Negra Cruz has already came out. Yeah. Um, the next song, I don't care. I'm gonna announce it. Uh, se llama Corazón Malo. Hell yeah. Which uh, mis compas acá también la cantan. Fire. Sheesh. Uh, Zaza boys. Bobbler. Um, and Hell yeah, and um, but we 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 haven't finished the CD, bro, and that's our fault. Yeah, and fucking studios, bro, in Chicago, sometimes it's difficult <laughs> to work with. Yeah. But shout out to my compa Kiko from M SMI, is the best guy to work with. He did our so our song for our video that just came out not so long ago. Uh, he did all our singles that are no, not Negra Cruz and not um. Corazón Malo, but the rest of the CD, he's going to do it for us. And prior to that one, we took out a couple corridos that he produced. Yeah, okay. And um, we're very happy with him. We're going to stick with him to keep our sound yeah. constant. Mm. Well, Because well, I mean, I, 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 I'm not digging... It's cada quien a su gusto, bro. O sea, cada quien a su gusto. And I'm sure you like what he's giving you, so that's what you're going to stick with. And, and I don't like jumping around from studio to studio yeah. no more. Well, I mean... Ya like, I Hay unos bien buenos, different sounds, yeah. pero it's hard to schedule. Yeah. And and I what I notice that every time we record a CD, the scheduling fucks up when the CD it takes up to a year for the CD yeah. come out sometimes. Yeah. And um, yeah. uno mismo es, como es, grupo es, te aburres. Like ya ya lo grabé and I'm playing the songs. Ya cuando sale el CD, you're fucking sick of the songs it's, already. It's, it's all so, working for you guys. Yeah. So. So it's we're not broken, don't fix it. I, I, I'm not jocking any other studios, mm -hmm. but 
a schedule wise and quality wise the combination of the scheduling with the co- quality that Kiko gives is you can't beat that for me for you yep. yeah pero yeah I recommend todos los chavos que ahorita más que nada se dediquen a promover su grupo something that we lack is um, promover el, el grupo en redes sociales like put up any little stupid video on a daily basis two videos a day or mm-hmm. at least five Fucking videos TikTok. a week yep. TikTok, uh, Snapchat, everything and um, record at least one song a month if you're really taking your group seriously mm-hmm. and not not to the oh I want to be famous no it's a business you love doing music you want to live a little bit off of music well do that invest a little bit in your group invest so something that I didn't do when we should have when you should Mm-hmm. And then also that uh, thanks to Juan in a, in a way, that I'll announce it here too right now. I got introduced to a, a group out there from like Aurora Plano area, uh, the guys from Empresario de Durango, oh yeah. and um, we just sat down with them last week. We haven't announced anything. This probably when this comes out next week, it's probably gonna be the announcement there. And but we sat down with Empresario. Uh, came down with an agreement with them and uh you know we're going to start working together um but you know you know los conocía a ellos muy bien verdad yeah. o sea i i went through juan being my my middle guy kind of like hey you know what what do you think blah blah so yeah want to welcome them to the amg family oh yeah EGD. yeah y pues ahí poco a poquito porque the groups also have stuff going on um saludos para mi tocayo y para el comparón Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Bar- mi compa el fuck you, mi compa fuck it oh, on the drums, yeah. yeah, um, fucking compa Aaron on the fucking Aaron and his brother on the saxes, yeah. um, compa Mark, um, it's a Tambora. solid ass group, yeah, bro, bro, bro yo los conozco uh, most of them for for a long time way, pues sí, way, they they love fucking music way, just like you guys, I'm sure way, yeah, and um, I think they they're taking what they're trying to do very serious too because they've you know also been releasing music yeah so um yeah anyway i'm excited for it. fucking EDD, they, they're, they're very solid group oh, sí, mm. good good mi compa juan canta muy yeah. bien los sax están más oh, sea, yeah, yeah yo sí los recomiendo well that's yeah. what that's what i'm saying i know it works it's here especially like you said you guys are fucking busy as fuck you know yes. and i'm sure compa gets Tons of calls for you guys where he can't book, you know, you guys. Pero ese group planeta que la traen también yes. con, con, con el estilio type, type that you guys also yes. kind of have. So, fuck yeah. Yeah. Hit, hit us up. For sure. A los compas de Empresario de Orango. 100% recomendado. Pinches A la gente que, que le gusta la música de rancho estilo yep. tamborazo. Polkas estilo. and yeah. fucking... Andan machín, güey. Yes, sure. andan. Andan bravos los chavos. Hell yeah. yeah. It, it, it adds a good, uh, <coughs> a good balance to the, to the genre within. Mm-hmm. I mean, you guys are solid as fuck, but yeah, me tocó see these guys like two weeks ago también. The very first private and shit. Yeah. Um, pero pues no mames, güey, también macizo, güey. They're solid <laughs> as fuck. I mean, you could just tell. I think I told you before because of the the consistency in practice. Yes. You guys were the most consistent group this year. Yeah. We're, 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 we're not the best, bro, but we do practice see, a lot. See, yeah. well, I mean, I could attest for it because a lot of the times when we're here recording, you guys were fucking mm. downstairs fucking jamming way, you yeah. know? And sometimes we don't practice here. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we practice at our boy Luis's house from Deriva. So shout out to them. Shout out, oh, yeah. Shout out, shout out to my compa Luis. That sometimes he lets us practice in his house. And my compadre Chalio, sometimes we practice at his house. Yeah, sure. So, like, sometimes we duramos in venir a practicar. Yeah. Sometimes we no le aviso a Carlos. So we go practice somewhere else, but yeah. we practice. Yeah. And we much. still make, make yeah. mistakes practicing, bro. But um, I feel it still makes a difference. Um, even if even if you make mistakes, you still see here the solidness, the sy- synchronization. Aunque esté malito, aunque no seamos los yeah. mejores saxos o no seamos los mejores taroleros, mejores yeah. tamborero, uh, I'm not the best. Well, I'm not a good singer, bro. I uh, could I could tell uh, you this way. To me, 
being that I'm not a musician, and when I think of música así, el estilo rancho, way, I think it needs to be a little, a little bit sloppy. sloppy. Dang, he just a called me bit. sloppy, bro. No, no, Shit. no, not, not. <laughs> Our fucking okay. guess, bro. Well, it's, it's, it's different to a... Uh, to, uh, Como rústico. Rústico. Ru- there you go. That's yeah. the that's the word. Yeah, you can't be all jazzy yeah, playing yeah, parrancho know? music. Yeah. I think that's that's what it is. You, you know, know what I think? So you're saying it's 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 not fucking, you know. Yeah. You know what I think? It's different. Lo, lo que tiene más you guys, la, you guys la, are lo que are. tiene nuestra música es que el equipo que tengo ahorita, los muchachos um transmiten. Mm. They fucking jam, bro. Yeah. They don't view it as a job. Yeah. My brother, love your brother loves it. My brother, say, Ivan, and, and he, yeah. when they play, bro, they're, they're jamming. Yeah. They're, they're, they're fucking, having fun together. Yes, they yeah. like, and they want, they, and that's that's a, a makes a difference between, I don't care how good yeah. you can be. There's a lot of motherfuckers here in Chicago that are good, but yeah. they're always focusing on, Being oh, I play better than, better than that Being motherfucker. Than the oh, they suck. I play yeah. better than him. Nah, nigga, focus on yourself and transmit to the people. Because the people are going to hire. I'm not going to hire you, nigga. You don't need to impress me. Yeah. Impress them. Yep. Hello, yeah. That's it. I mean, that's a good point. The The part where they resonate with their playing way, it's a difference between doing it because you really <coughs> enjoy what the fuck you're doing. Yes. Instead of just playing your yeah. fucking notes and la chingada. Yeah. No, you guys are fucking solid yeah. as fuck right now. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. But we tried to be, man. Yeah. And we get now we're at the point where we start worrying. Hey, dude, we haven't practiced. And like, yeah, right. bro. We, everybody starts saying, yeah, we got to go practice. Well, that's the good thing, too, bro. Malo fuera que no dijera nada. Que todos quieran. Okay, we haven't practiced. Ah, it's cool. No hay pedo. <coughs> yeah. It's accountability también un poquito, right? Like, and it, it's difficult. Yeah? yeah. It's difficult at first because you're like, I got to go practice. I just, yeah. Like this weekend, we just played like three hour, uh, three days, like seven, seven hours each day or something like that. Sheesh. And then yes. like, and then like, la verga. You're like, ah oh, man, we don't want to practice this week, but we might come practice on Thursday. Mm. A pesar de taking a, taking I'm a still break, still playing you know. twenty one we, fucking. Hours. We gotta be. Um, well, it's, it's gonna be too late, baby. But the parade's gonna be on Sunday, so we gotta. Yeah, be ready, ready. yeah, había pasado. Ya pasó. I, I, I thought about yeah. it too. Saludos a los que fueron al, al parade. Great time, yeah. but that was that, That's gonna be cool too, bro. The parade, man. I yes. I think I'm gonna go to that, man. That's going to be fucking cool, bro. I've never been to him. You should come with. Yeah. You'll be on the floor yeah, with I, I thought we, uh, Can I be on the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. You could be on our floor. Just make sure you wash your asshole yeah. that day. No, no me lo va a picar, but I'll wash it, dog. Jesse's going to be there, too, eh? Yeah, I know. We can that, have a little I, ass, I just, I just ass eating there. competition. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> and there's going to be horses. Bestiality fans. <laughs> For you bestiality fans out there. Yes. Hey, um, weren't we going to talk about, I don't know if it's too late though. I don't know. Uh, talk about, um, I'm not going to mention any groups, but shit that's been happening. Everybody's going to know what one of the groups that got involved in this, but about the whole cancellation of Tocadas. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I'm here to defend. First of all, I want to say it's fucked up that if I have a cotillion, my daughter's cotillion, yeah. I hire a group, the motherfucker don't show up, I'm going to be pissed like a motherfucker. Okay. I want to want to hurt the motherfucker, yeah. right? But me being a musician, I understand the other side. Like, I've double booked up. Double I, booked I double booked not so long ago. Shout out to my compa Lorenzo. Le quedé mal. Um, Y gracias, a y, mis no compas, te quemó. <laughs> y gracias a mis compas de Show Revelación que me hicieron el paro para ir a cubrirme. Yeah. I know. A mí me ha pasado varias veces. Nomás que ya agarra, agarré un sistema donde knock on wood ya nos, nos ha pasado. Yeah. As, duramos como tres años que no nos pasaba hasta la semana pasada que me pasó con mi compa Lorenzo. Pero my question is this. Yo la regué, I double book, I'm honest about it, I tell them what happened, they don't believe me, because musicians, we have a bad reputation, because there, the, there is groups that'll, that'll, double, that'll book, 
And if they get something better, better will. Uh, adios. Ahí nos vemos. To me, it's first come, first serve. Even if you got me one hour tamborazo y me sale una tocada para Texas, I'm going to respect that little tamborazo. That's the way I am. But what about when they cancel us? Hmm. I just had two cancellations already. Damn. Yeah. Two cancellations. I just got a message last week about, no, on Saturday. Oh, you know what? Uh, we're going to have to cancel the party. Like, okay, that's fine. But like, so like, I don't know, there should be a balance there. Like, you don't burn the, the musicians, you know, you know, it's an honest mistake. Shit happens. Yeah. De que falta de profesionalismo. And I'm speaking in general. I, I don't know specific details of certain groups que yeah. les ha pasado, you know. Obviously, tiene que haber vatos que se han pasado de lanza y no cumplen uh, por sus huevos o porque no quieren, ¿verdad? Pero, o porque nomás no qui la, me la regaron. Pero, wh wh what about when it's the other way around? Yeah. What do you think? Um, Dale. Well, what do you think? See, as a private wise, I wouldn't know. Private dude. As, like, I'm my mind automatically goes to like, all right, well, motherfuckers talk shit about like promoters when promoters fucking yeah. cancel and shit, which is <coughs> you can look, you can look at it two ways. If you, if you don't have if you don't have the backup to fucking that's it. Why are you doing the event? One, but then there's also like, all right, well, this is gonna save me fucking. A thousand dollars when I'm already used losing mm -hmm. fucking whatever many. You know you got to look at it both sides. Well, you know, but yeah, and, and you know, but people. that that that. But the the whole private thing, like, yeah, that's fucked up. You yes. know, if you have a, a an event that you've been planning for a year plus or whatever, yeah, and the motherfucker cancels on you that day and you don't get nobody to cover you, mm -hmm. you know, like that, you just. I'm not going to say you ruined the party because, well, I know someone it happened to and they said that the DJ fucking came through and everybody fucking had a great time the party anyways. Was popping, yeah. You know? Before the other group got there. So me, me as a musician, number one, if I, if, if I do that, I feel like shit. Number I know eight. I know it has to happen. We're, no, I mean, mm. so you guys are only human just like everybody else. Mistakes mm. fucking happen. And number two, I'm worried about la mala fama de mi grupo. Yeah. It's a business at the end of the day. You know, you don't yeah. you don't want to have a bad reputation, cause that's how you get work. Well, I mean, I well, I believe that's what was happening with that group. That it happened more than, you know, it's happened constantly. Yes. In the last couple months or whatever a year, or I don't fucking know. Because I just saw when it blew up recently, whatever. You know, not everybody knows that. Maybe La Musicada knows that. or, yeah, or yeah. But now with fucking social media, pues abuelo, let's burn these motherfuckers. And everybody See? jumps on, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's not knowing. The fucked up part is people not knowing the details. And they jump a on, mi, A know? mí me quisieron quemar también. Y me dio coraje porque era músico el cabrón que me quiso quemar. Yeah. Y no lo voy a mencionar. Pero no me cae. No me cae bien. Y él sabe quién es. Pero... No soy niño para yeah. quemarlo en, en social media. Pero lo que pasó con él fue que I double book. Um, I called him and told, hey, you know what? Start looking for another group. I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to see if I can move shit around. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play. I can't guarantee you. No le garantizo que voy a ir a tocar. So, si quiere buscarse otro grupo, váyaselo buscando por si las moscas o a... Para que no se vaya a quedar sin música. Yeah. Like, if you want to hire someone else and just completely cancel me, cancel me and get another group right now. No, I guess I get out of whatever. Like, well, let me call you back. I'm going to try to fix this. By that time, so I, the other people from the other tocada, que son las Marrufo, un saludo para ellas que son de Morillitos, les hablé y les dije, ¿saben qué? La cagué. I double booked, then me chanza. Me dieron chanza, and I'm like, fuck yeah. Ya me puedo acomodar, acomodar en esos parties. By the time I was going to call this motherfucker, he had already burned me on Facebook. Oh, no shit. So guess what? I didn't fucking go. Uh. 
Mm. Like, nigga, I had already fixed the situation. I took care of it. And then he was trying to tell me, oh, you're unprofessional. You went over there because there's more money over there. And blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't know, bro. I don't roll that way. If you don't know me, if I haven't done you wrong before, don't don't complain that I'm like that because I'm not. But then again, there's musicians that fuck up and it, we all take the yeah. fall for it. There's <coughs> just different situations that happen. And yes. again, the story gets out of hand and it's what people start Well, hearing. I'm being generalized. Yeah, I'm not yeah, here to yeah, attack yeah. no group or defend no group. Yeah. I'm just defending the musician side of it because I feel like Como que el músico está muy atacado. So I'm making a fucking musician's union. No, fucking. Well, well, I mean, I would understand how musicians would get mad when another musician would, you know, joins the fucking... Oh, see, joins I, the see I don't get involved. Yeah. Regardless, si, la, si de veras la regaron o no. Yeah. Pues no well, because no. I, I just saw posts, too, where people were saying, like, oh, well, you're talking shit when you're a musician, too. You know yeah. how it is, you know, blah, blah, yeah. blah. But know. yeah. It's difficult. You know, you know. Yeah. Know. Yeah, well, social media no no te la va a perdonar social media. Yeah. Like people are going to They always will. It yeah. just it's so it's so it's so tough way. I think it's just like life. Like everyone has their fucking flaws. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, they're going to call you out and you know, I'm a diffuse like I'm more of a diffuser guy. Like I don't want I'll talk it out with you. We'll figure it out. You know, we'll do everything to make it happen, but I'm not going to be on social media, and I'm not going to... Me neither. Yeah. Now, now, if they ask me, do you want to hire this guy? Hey, I'm going to hire this guy. Okay, don't hire him because of this, this, and this, and right. this. But I'm not going to go on social media and like, hey, this motherfucker, hey, look, look, la, no, lo, no lo contrate. Yeah. Porque mire, what if I go on social media right now, and I start quemando a la gente que me acaba de cancelar? Right. Nobody's going to give a fuck. Pero que suban, que, que hay double book, que, que yo cancele y me ponen a quemar ahorita. Ah, pinche grupo culero, y que quién sabe qué, you know. Yeah. And even then, when <coughs> the, the people nowadays, it's, well, it's not even nowadays, just in general, you know, like fucking misery loves company, right? Like, yeah. even if you do bless somebody, there's going to be people that are going to jump. They don't know these people. Exactly. And they're just going to bash the shit out of them, bro. It's and the same thing como músico, they're going to quemar a uno. The fucking lady from goddamn Oaxaca doesn't know us. Like, <laughs> chingue, that's never madre. hired a group in her life. Hey, bro, and it's the same thing. Like, what's the number one thing with the promoter? Right away, they'll be like, eh, no salió para el baile, se quedó con toda la fe. And, like, it's always yeah. the same yeah. fucking thing. Well, and it don't matter who you are. You didn't even go to the baile. Y ahí estás, güey, cagando el pinche palo when you were not there at the Rieleros in, at, at fucking C-Club. Yeah. But you're going to join in and... <laughs> No vas a hacer cuentas y cuanta madre. And, 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 and I'm glad you brought that up because I spoke to the guy it happened to. And I told him, look, bro, I don't know what happened. I've seen what people have been putting these past couple months, you know, trying to quemarte y todo. But you know what? If you didn't do nothing bad, which I don't know if you did or you didn't, but if you didn't do nothing bad, don't what listen to all that shit. Yeah. Just keep doing you or fix the problem that you've messed yeah, up no. or whatever it is, whatever the case might be. Like, just keep doing you. Keep going straight. No te riendes para atrás. Pero, because you're never going to beat social media. Well, yeah. that's the thing. That's you're the not. Thing. No. It's undefeated. Undefeated. The internet is undefeated. Every day. Yeah. The, it happened to I us when the whole... The um, pleito con Andale, con la cantadora con la cantadora yeah we oh, were like the yeah. bad guys I, I found out the next day que hubo chingazos I didn't even know yeah and the next oh no never mind I take that back I was there but I found out the next day who who it was who, yeah you were more like there's a fight over there who gives yes, a shit yes. uh, whatever blah, yeah blah. and we all did you know some of the guys weren't even there yet yeah but apparently we attacked somebody and and, hey, and I heard that that guy got into more trouble later. I don't know. I don't know that. Ah, I didn't know that guy. Pinche barbón, ahí está. Mira, Juan, Juan, ahí está el pinche barbón. Right? Hey, they said right? gordo barbón. Half of Chicago yeah. está gordo y barbón. Yeah. I saw you in the video, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> hey, whoever took that fight, I remember that fucking party, that fight or that video. It was blurry as fuck. They had a fucked up ass phone. They needed a better phone. 
pedo when was, Yeah, that was a... The guys didn't even look like us, bro. None of them. Nah, I, I, I just remember it was a blurry ass video. Fucking... Yeah, but yeah, that's that's all. Yeah, I mean, but you know what? At the end of the day, at first I was all stressing about it and pissed about it. It didn't nothing affect happened. me, yeah, yeah. because I really didn't yeah. do nothing. So, so that's Two why. Two years later, you're that's having. Why a couple so, years later, you're having the That's best. why I say, you know, if somebody starts to quemarte en el Facebook, pues, I yeah. que le den todo que quieran. Because that was a couple yeah. years ago, and like you said, now you guys are coming off it. But two See, best. people, people are gonna say I finger best. myself. <laughs> yeah. I ain't, well, I'm gonna lose that you battle. You said you finger. Pay- no, <laughs> I did not say I finger myself. You're gonna become. You're gonna become a I meme. said the 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 closest to being gay. Was when I washed my asshole. I never said I finger myself. But when you did the gesture, you did say like, "Oh, I fucking yeah. like that." No. I went like this. Well, I, didn't, I didn't go like this. I mean, that's that's, that's close, no? That's a finger. Because you're you're indenting up. No. O sea, and then you're wiggling. No, but it's just a wiggle Woo! like that. It, it doesn't mean it was. The finger wasn't inside wiggling. Yeah. It was in the outside wiggling. The outside. Oh. You're rubbing it. See, yeah, yeah, there you go. You just did a rim job. A, little fucking rim a fingering job. job. Maybe rim a rim job. job. Yeah. Wow. Fingering is like this. But, but it's not, then it, that's not gay then. I, I broke mean, the fucking microphone. Cool nah, you're cleaning yourself. Hey. It's loose. Huh? It's oh. loose. Yeah. I got a hold. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you are right, bro. At the end of the day, it's just like um, you can lie to fucking everybody, but you can't lie to yourself. So if you know what you are and people are talking shit yeah. and if you're absolutely not that, a la vera, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Because you're not going to win. You're not going to. No, you're not. No. You're just going to get pissed and stressed out. And don't read the comments, man. People don't read the comments. Yeah. They're not in your favor. And you don't need to prove nothing to nobody if you know what you did, you know? Only yeah. to the man upstairs, right? Is it okay? To not the, to prove the man anything? upstairs? <laughs> Depends which man you're talking about. <laughs> the men. The men. Los de arriba. Yeah. Well, this yeah. was a fucking awesome talk, one. Anything else that we should attack? attack? Uh, Anything no. that, that we had on our I list? I just want to make it clear I do not finger myself. <laughs> I don't know, bro. We're going to have to go. go if you didn't mm-hmm. miss it, go, go back, back and check it out. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll replay this and see if I said, I, oh, if I said actually it. say. But I know I was high, but I heard. And we're going to bring you back way because, I mean. We told you yeah. last time in Tamir Orita, we said, I think we want you to be kind of like a Robert, like to come in here every other month or so. I'm down, just, bro. I'm yeah, down. Wait. And just talk about shit, you know. For us, it's cool. Eh? And for us, I think that it's also the podcast goes in hand where, you know, you you keep being on here. Well, you know, we're always going to bring up Dorado. I think, <coughs> it's just, I think it's a cool thing. Eh? It's a cool thing that we need to uh, take advantage of. The platform and shit. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful for it. It's nice to be a part of uh, AMG. Yeah. I think it's Thank something you, very badass. Groups don't know, but to me, it's a big advantage to be in, in this company, bro. I mean, I I I could attest because, well, when we came around, when we met Compa, you know, AMG as a whole was fucking thriving with the groups that they had. And I know right now, kind of that same thing is going on with, you know, they're adding more and, groups and, and, and shit. And you know what? I want to say something. People, I guess promoters, might look at us a different way because you guys sometimes do events. But it's we're not here because of the events. I'm not. I'm yeah. here because of all the other stuff AMG offers to me. Yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. For I'm at an advantage. If anything, I think they're in a disadvantage. But it's I appreciate well, one, one hand washes the other for sure. I, I yeah. hope it does. Yeah, one yeah. I, I would Most say definitely. more 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 that. And you know what? <coughs> I w- maybe next time that he comes on, we can get a little deeper into maybe some AMG Dorado talk. Fuck yeah. But but I think that we're not we're not it's like as a team like it's our first year technically. Um, they were super booked, and again we can get into detail in the next one. I think it'll be cool. But bro, we haven't even like scratched shit. Like a pena we come on, you know. We're barely like in first base, nigga. Like that's how it is. You haven't fingered his ball. We have not fingered (laughs) his ball. We have not rubbed it. It's first base, but why does it feel like third base? (laughs) (laughs) No mami. Hey, it's first base, but why why did you thumb up my ass? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> 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 
Es que me caigo, compadre. Ah, entonces hay que decir. <laughs> But yeah. that would be a good talk, way. But uh, that would be the Dorado EMG talk. We'll have it next time. But it, yeah. it does. It, it works out for both of us. I, I mean, it worked out. Way. It worked out perfect in, in my point of view. Y apenas, güey, se no le hemos movido ni madres. Honestamente, güey. Yeah, we haven't done a lot of stuff that we were supposed no, no, to do. No le hemos movido ni madres. You guys just being busy as fuck already. Well, I think they're you know? busy too. And right now, we, we, we got yeah. to the part where we started getting really busy in the summer and the pods and the fucking festivals. And, and, and you know what's crazy? Like, I see how much these guys have grown. The stuff they're doing. From when you first came in? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking about that the I other mean, day, man. I mean, yeah. How, how shit just, boom, like, kind of just, yeah. all right? I remember when you was down the street. Right. We took our... Picture from our last CD there. Oh shit! Sure. The gold with the gold. gold suits. Yeah. Well, yeah. Where they Photoshop Lelo. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. that's William. Well, Lelo. that's kind of where shit. that's kind of where we sparked way. He so. was an AMG, yeah, right? We yeah, at that time. That's when you we. Were? That's when we. Pretty much way the first. So you've been AMG since day one. The the first. No, no, no. Well, no. we started well, working. Well, we started working well, he's together. From Compa, yeah. yeah. So we started working as Puro Compa with Aguacate, um, like about seven years ago. Well, pretty much the first meeting I t- had with this fool was like one of the last couple weeks they were at his house, and then they moved into the to building. that one. So over there. So I mean, technically, yeah, wh- we're not. I mean, we're part of AMG, but we're not part of AMG, you know, type of yeah. thing. We we came around way, and you know, we love what they're fucking doing way. So we support because we're business partners. You know, we support a hundred percent what. They got going on and, and on you know this side. A lot of people view it as kissing their ass, but if they haven't fuck. worked with them, don't they fuck. don't know. I don't give a fuck what they think. You know, what like I'm saying, yeah. I've heard of other groups that used to work with them and don't work with them no more. I just don't understand yeah. what was the problem. Yeah. Like, what was the bad part about yeah. it? At least I'm. Yeah. I haven't I think, experienced I think, anything bad. Yeah, I think some because they're very fucking flexible. Some 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 people just you know think, hey, well, I could do it myself. Whatever yeah. he's doing, I could do it myself. You know. And that's fine. I know this dude's not pushing them to say, "Hey, I," you know. Hey, it's but up to you it's because, you know? or does he push? Do you do you feel that? That he means I think that means if if they we're think we're going to go into the talk and shit. I know, right? <laughs> I it. think if they don't view it as a positive, it's because they're not doing their job and they're letting him do most of the work. I view him as another vendor. Yeah. Like in my group, me and Mario get the gigs. I view him as another guy just selling me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Getting more gigs. Exactly. exactly. Gigs that probably you wouldn't have got. Exactly. You know, they're going to come to you. Exactly. Yeah, simple. That, that's people what that saying. are going to call him that would have never called me. Maybe that's something. Well, people maybe shouldn't or but don't know. But, I mean, that's technically the way and, he and works. I, and like I'm he, not. I'm not he, let, he lets the groups that are with him still get their own gigs. He just exactly. you know, gets I, other gigs. I'm not gig criticizing too. people that left him. I'm just saying that. Why? Yeah. You know? It's definitely a plus. Also, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. That's kind of how we, you know, like, we see all the businesses does, you know, and we kind of know. Because we talk more, because we're in business together, we know a little bit more of the details to it. So we just 100% fucking support what this dude's doing, you know? So that's why, you know, we're blasting everything aguacate too, you know? Even though we're not... You know, financially or anything, I don't have no benefit to what this guy's doing. But he's my friend, you know, and I support what he's doing. So, boom, you know, anything mm-hmm. aguacate we're fucking sharing too, you know, because mm-hmm. it's parte de la familia, way. Exactly. Yeah, but hand in hand, parte del equipo. Aguacate has to always be grinding in order to be able to do shit. Uh, obviously, we were not working for fucking almost two years, so. There were, no había ingreso, había solo pinche de salida. See, that's that, uh, that's where I'm like, what the fuck? How are yeah. yeah. these guys doing it? Yeah, 99.9% of our uh, fountain of incomes or fountains of incomes Stop. were stopped. Sure. Everything. The only guy that was sort of working a little bit was Fry. And that was just for him to live. Only fans. Only fans. And then for him to live. Aquí... Renta y los hey, pocos billes, uh, o sea, siempre había salida, we f- 14 and a half months of that shit. Sin ningún pinche because ingreso. Because of COVID? Because yeah. of COVID. So, it was, I mean, it was fucking tough, but we need to, you know, 
that's what I'm saying. Like we have not done what we would want to do yet, because we're barely, in a way, getting back Recovery? on track. Yeah. yeah. Um, without having to really dip into the fucking deep pockets per se, for us to try to, um, because we're still willing and wanting to do things more. more yeah. You know, um, I think it's gonna be very possible. I think it's gonna be very soon yeah. as well. So. Yeah. Y compas, thank you guys for fucking staying with us for almost, Fuck I think, yeah. three hours. So, la dejamos para la otra plática con mi como Juanito. It was a great fucking talk. He came here late. Fuck yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true. <laughs> uh, nah. Make sure you keep following us. Subscribe to our YouTube. Subscribe. We're trying to make it to a thousand followers by the end of the year. After this one, you're going to have it. There it Fuck is. yeah. That's his Get us to a thousand followers. Subscribe, like, comment. Yeah. Comment. After the boho wash, you guys are going to get it washed. It's going to be a good one. Bonito, se va it's going to be a good one. Pinche, to the Next Mexican time I see you, I'm going to smell your fingers, bro. <laughs> 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 to the Mexican Jay-Z, to my boy, the Zah, man. Ya se lo saben. Read a book. Thank you, guys. <laughs>